Welcome to Tabletop Tactics. Coming up in today's battle. Oh no! A six! No. Ah! Not messing around! Ah. Damn it, chef! Codex awful situation. <laughs> I'm not intelligent enough to understand <laughs> what's going on. Welcome back everyone to the channel. It's another battle report with me, the beard, and him, it's the chef. It's me. And today we're cooking up some tasty treats for you today. A lesser, a lesser scene army that you're running today. Oh, don't. For better or for worse. Don't. They're your favorites. I, I love the GC the Colt, man. They're so cool. They're just so rubbish. Yeah, they're bad. They're, they're really bad, bad at the yeah. moment. Um, Nevertheless, but they are a lot of fun. They, they are fun to use because you just kind of go, yeah, like, this is a challenge and I do like a challenge. I do like a challenge. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and it is a bit of a classic matchup. You're obviously quelling the rebellion. The guard have been sent to uh, strike me down. Yeah. And that we will. Uh, Custom I... regiment, not using Katachan today. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> are you okay? Whoa. Whoa. Let's not go crazy. But yes, custom regiments, it's going to be a good one. Artillery versus the conniving ways of the Gene Steeler cult. Artillery versus Gribbly. Oh. The children of the four armed emperor have arrived for the first time in a very long time because I'm very hesitant to use them because of their many glaring issues. Um, but we're gonna give them a spin today. Let's see how we get on. So we're running them as a battalion of bladed cog today. Um, so six up in bum uh, across the army. Apart from my vehicles, it's problem number one, um, as well as ignoring penalties for shooting heavy weapons of which I have a fair number. So that's helpful, right? Um, so it's led up by a patriarch. He has the born survivor ward or trait for minus one damage. Um, and that's it. I, I've not given him any relics today because you kind of need the CP for uh, Eugene Sealer Colts. cults. Um, powers wise, he's got Mental Onslaught because that's always fun. Uh, and he's also got Undying Vigor to give a unit a five up shrug, which is uh, the Bladed Cog specific one. Uh, backing him up, we have a Primus. Uh, I have spent a CP for uh, Brood Coven here to give him a moral trait, uh, Aura of Majesty for the nine inch bubbles that he has, because it's always really useful. Uh, and then we also have an Abominant. Uh, Be Good himself, Sloth is here. Um, I've given him the Mark of the Claude on the Sire because that gives him a free up in bun, and that's kind of cheesy, but it's Gene Sealer Cult, so you'll allow it. It's not like it's on a Custodes army-wide. Um, he's fine. Um, it was more to sort of have him just because of a bit of fun and to have something tanky, but we'll see. Um, Troops-wise, we've got three units of the Neophyte hybrid, so the Shooty Boys, uh, two Mining Lasers in each, two Grenade Launchers in each. They are going to be riding around in uh, a Goliath truck each. Um, we also have uh, another three troops slots here. We have two units of five neophyte hybrids. Um, so they're just nice, cheap, objective cappers, um, useful to tie stuff up, actions if I need to, things like that. Uh, they're going to be riding around in uh, two rock grinders in my heavy support um, because they can only carry a few. They've got clearance incinerators. Why I'm paying 15 points for a two shot heavy flamer, I will not understand, um, but this is the world that GC the Cods live in. Uh, they're still pretty decent with their um, uh, drill. They can get a pretty good amount of attacks um, at decent strength and AP and damage. So, you know, that, that that's what I'm primarily going to use them for is a bit more of a fence there. Uh, and then my final troop slot, just backtracking back to that, is a unit of 15 Neophyte Hybrids uh, with four Rock Souls and a Cult Icon in, eat, in, uh, in the squad to give them the reroll ones to hit. Is always good. Um, so that's my troops. Uh, that's my heavy support done. I've done my dedicated transports, done my HQs. We go to my elites. I have a plethora of characters in here. I have the Kelamorph. He has been given, I've spent a CP for grand size gifts to give him a relic. Um, so he's got uh, Oppressor's Bane. So he's a super duper pistol. He is a root in two in shooting cowboy. Uh, we have a Clamavus for the extra charge. Basically, uh, 
you know, it, it's it's necessary um, for GC the Colts. I mean, really, if you want to go the sort of that combat e charge from Deep Strike route, you're going for uh, Cult of the Four Armed Emperor. Um, but I'll take I'll take a plus one. That's always good. Um, we also have a Sanctus uh, for a little bit of uh, snipery uh, usefulness here. Uh, can work in tandem with the Kalamov to sort of pick off the bit more harder to kill characters, as well as be really, really obnoxious if you come up against Psychers. Uh, that I had 65 points to spend and I didn't know what to do on, and I thought it'd be really cool to have a sniper, so, you know, there you go. Uh, we then also have a unit of eight aberrants look they're not they're not the best but they are fun uh, i've got a unit of eight the hypermorph has a hammer i've got another uh, two guys in there with hammers um, and then i've got five guys with picks um or is it six guys with picks and two no sorry six guys with picks two guys with hammers one of the hammers is the hypermorph um and then finally in the to round off the army and make it a nice neat in a bow package of 2000 points are free Achilles Ridge Runners. Um, I'd love to run nine guys because that's realistically the only way that you're making a competitive uh, Genius Healer Cult. So, I mean, not that this is a competitive honey by any stretch of the imagination, um, but three of them, all with heavy mining lasers, all with flare launchers. So they've got the, um, the shrug there. Um, look, uh, we'll see how it gets on. I've got Decent anti-tank, I've got decent anti-infantry. Um, the main issues I'm hopefully going to mitigate by having a little bit more survivability, as much of a, as a six-up in one will give you in terms of survivability. Um, look, it's basically, we need to see what happens. We're going to have to be cagey, play the mission, and hope that Beard rolls like Beard does. Here we go. The Astra Militarum are here today and I'm taking a custom regiment. Um, in here we have spotted details for the extra range of my guns and jury rigged repair so I'm a bit more survivable on my tanks. Um, speaking of which, we have two tank commanders in here. One of them is my Warlord. Um, instead of a normal Warlord trait, I have chosen to give him one of the tank ace abilities. And this one, I forget what it's called, but it's a minus one damage, whatever that one is. And uh, he has a demolisher cannon and heavy bolters everywhere else. And then the other tank commander, I have spent a command point to also give him a tank ace ability. And he, I think it's called up armored and he has a two up save. Uh, he also has the same loadout for the weaponry. So demolisher cannon and heavy bolters around the hull. Uh, we then have a company commander, he has a power sword and he has a las pistol, that's it, that's what he has. We then have five infantry squads, five units of, uh, of ten here, uh, they just come as they are, uh, no special weapons here just to keep the points down a little bit. Uh, moving on, we then have many, many elite choices. Um, I've taken a unit of seven Bulgrin first of all, they will have slab shields and the mauls because um, that's how I like to run them. They are very nice that way. I then have an astropath for some psychic support. I have a uh, platoon commander. He has a, uh, a bolt pistol and a power sword because I had a couple of points to play with, so I've just uh, upgraded him a little bit. Uh, we then have a master of ordnance because I'm taking some basilisks. Um, we also have Nork Deadog with a strength eight headbutt. I couldn't not take it because he's hilarious and it's a ball grin that can't be targeted. So uh, I thought I'd give him a spin as well. Um, I also have a Tech Priest Engine Seer uh, just to give some additional support to my tanks to keep them alive. Um, and as far as I remember, that is all my elite's choices. We then have some heavy support. We have a unit of three Basilisks. We've already mentioned that. Um, and we also have two heavy weapons teams with heavy bolters. So lots of heavy bolters everywhere, lots of survivable tanks, uh, lots of troops. But the most important thing we all need to be aware of today, Inquisitor Heidegger has come. He's been sent by the Inquisition and he will win this game, even if I lose. So that's very important. Um, I've given him all the upgrades I possibly can to make him a super psyker. As far as I can remember, he uh, can cast two powers and can deny three because of his psychic mastery. Um, I've given him uh, his warlord trait for the additional psychic power and he has the black shroud relic. So uh, it's minus one, <coughs> excuse me, strength when he's being hit. Uh, and that is everything. Oh, and he has a, 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 a uh, four sword and a psy cannon and that's it that's the list let's get into the game we'll be right back 
Today's mission is Sweep and Clear, a Strike Force mission from the Warhammer 40,000 Grand Tournament Mission Pack. Five predetermined objective markers are placed onto the battlefield. Objectives you control remain so even when you move away from them until your opponent controls them. The primary objective is Take and Hold, a progressive mission where players score five victory points for each of the following conditions they achieve at the end of each of their command phases. Holding one or more objectives, holding two or more objectives, and holding more objectives than their opponent. These are cumulative and cannot be scored in the first battle round. Each player also chooses three secondary objectives that can score up to 15 points each. You join us on this Imperial world. The war has raged for many, many moons, for many years, perhaps. But the time has come to strike at the heart of the cult itself. Yeah! Terrifying. For Inquisitor High Digger. Yes! What a weapon. He is here. What a weapon. In the center. I should have just taken him. I don't need the rest of this army. You don't need the 7,000 characters in the center there buffing up the Bulgrins. Nope. No? Maybe. It's fine, we just remove them, it's okay. <laughs> so, you have seen the deployment, you have seen the mission, that's pretty much it. Yes. That's pretty much it. Uh, we do need to roll off for who goes first, uh, which means of course that I've left my dice somewhere else on the uh, in the studio, so uh, should we do? Should we do a little, little move go around? me? They're gonna do a dance sitting around. Whilst we're going around the table, why don't you guys hit subscribe? Ah, because that helps us out massively, and then we can make better videos and do more things. And uh, yes, it won't help me get dice though. No, that I think this is, is a fun dance we're doing. Yeah, I think that's dance. just. An Are you issue. subscribed yet? Press it. Okay, now that you've hit it, we Lovely. can uh, we can roll. So. Um, I'll go first, why not? You go first. You go ahead. Diddle 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 diddle. Excellent. A precursor for the rest of the game, perhaps? Uh, quite possibly. Oh. The tables have turned! <laughs> I see. Uh, I'll tell you what, you take the first roll this I'll time then. First. Here we go. It is a three. It's a one again. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that. that the, the, this, this is going to be a bad time for the Gene Stealer Colts. Oh, maybe. Uh, but we'll be back with Beards Turn 1 in just a moment. Turn 1 for the Astra Militarum. The movement phase is completed. Command phase, we gain a CP. That's, that's literally all that can happen with these armies. Yes. And we have moved forward with uh, most things uh, in the front of the spearhead here, uh, held back with everything at the rear here because <laughs> what's line of sight to basilisks? We, we, we care not for line of sight. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 yeah. Nothing. Uh, yeah, but I they know. do only have a 240 inch range, so that is. Uh, excuse me, 246. Remember your uh, spotter details. Oh yeah, good point. Do. <laughs> Uh, so what we've done is we've moved forward with the tank commander here, the engine seat behind in order to fix him. Uh, is this the master mechanic one? Uh, no, so this one has the uh, two up safe and this one is the master mechanic over here. Good, okay, very good. Good, good. <laughs> uh, this chimera has moved forward to hold this objective here. The Bulgrins have uh, moved forward, uh, not quite enough movement to get up and over and through the uh, step here. So we've just kind of formed a wall. They need to but... work on their cardio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it must be tough though. One, you've got to lug around all that muscle. And they, they probably haven't skipped leg day. Yeah. But there's still a lot to lug around. And then you add on like all the gear and then like basically a slab of concrete. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough it's going. It's tough. It's tough, tough going. Yeah. So that's them. Uh, the characters in support as well, hiding uh, behind. Um, we've got the Chimera in the center. This is the uh, minus one damage one over here for that tank commander. Uh, Chimera in support and heavy weapons teams beginning to move and fan out. Uh, yep, going second with Gene Seeder Colts is a massive problem because you just, you lose, you lose half of your army being able to deep strike where you want them. Um, so good time. Good times. Some uh, stuff, some stuff can't. Some stuff, maybe, maybe. Uh, anything else to mention in the movement phase? 
that's is. about it. Um, yeah, you mentioned the Balkans have advanced. Uh, yeah, that yeah, you is... only got a one for their advance. They got a yeah. one. Yeah, but I want to keep my command points for later. Um, and um, he's in the middle objective, so that is useful for direct assault. Yes. Um, that's it. Now I'm ready to do a very short psychic phase. Yes. Uh, and just for reference, over here we have uh, emerged with all of my uh, all of my tanks. Uh, <laughs> Tanks. I use the term very loosely. Um, we've got the uh, units. Tonks. Not even. I that. mean, they're more like Tonka trucks, really. Yeah. No. Like they, they're about as tough as one. Yeah. Which actually, if you're a small child, it's pretty tough. Mm. It's pretty tough. Yeah. Um, but for you know a, a demolisher cannon, less so. Uh, so we've got uh, units of the neophytes in each of the Goliath trucks. Uh, units of the. Um, uh, sorry, the, yes, the neophytes, the acolytes are in the uh, dozers. Uh, we've got the Achilles Ridge Runners. They made their uh, scout move backwards to get out of range. Um, we use the uh, additional move with the Sanctus here because he wasn't able to see anything worth shooting, so I just used his free perfect ambush to move. I rolled a five, so it just gets him into a position. And that's it on my end. Cool. A short psychic phase. We'll be back in just a jiffy. The Psychic Phase, two Psychic Powers to cast, one from High Dagger and one from his buddy Medium Dagger. Yes, Medium Dagger. Uh, yeah, so Night Shroud from Medium Dagger. Uh, that does go off from 10. Goes off. I'm, I'm not sure about giving minus one to himself. That's a bit weird, because that's presumably who you were casting it on, right? What? Because you, you're obviously not going to cast that on the Bullrins. So you're casting that on yourself, right? Why? <laughs> I, look, I'm just trying to play the psychological mind games of the cults. Don't try and play these games with me. I'm not intelligent enough to understand what's going on. <laughs> Don't we're be now so going to cast, uh, From Heidegger, we're going to cast Warding Incantation onto the Ball Grin for a five and runnable save. A five up. Uh, Goes up on a six. It's exactly what I need. No more, the no less. precision of Heidegger knows no bounds. He doesn't want to be wasting any energy where he doesn't need to. He's a very busy man. He's also very old and very angry. That's my psychic phase done. Okay, the psychic phase is off to a good start. The shooting phase, let's see if we can continue the upward trend. Uh, we've done move, move, move from uh, the uh, company commander here. Uh, we've done it on the heavy weapons team who rolled a two and the infantry, which rolled a five. They couldn't see anything anyway, guys, and realistically the orders weren't gonna do anything over there, but useful for the board presence. Yes. Uh, we've done gunner's kill on sight for this tank commander upon himself, because you can still do that. That's still a thing. Who knows what may happen in the future? And over here, we have done the same. And we're gonna kick off with this tank commander over yonder. Yes, he is going to do his shooty into this truck over here. Okay, very good. The demolisher cannon. Did he move? Uh, he moves as far as he can. He move. did move. Okay, okay, so two shots. Two shots, a mighty two. They both hit. Twice. I mean, use different dice. Okay. Because I'm starting to get very. Um, ah. Uh, One wound. What's the, what's the word? Superstitious. Ah, uh, okay. One wound to minus three. Uh, I don't get a save. D6 damage. It's two. It's two. So okay. two shrugs. Of six up. Hey, yeah. No, two damage. Very good. Six. And then the heaviest bolt is in town. Mm. Uh, oh. Right, okay. Here are the ones. Okay. All right, it will be fives to wound. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. Minus one. Uh, I do save one. Uh, two damage, you say? Yes. Uh, I don't shrug any, so I've taken four damage in total. Weathered that storm. You sure did. This Lehman Russ into the uh, rock grinder here. Yes. Um, I am going to spend a CP for evasive maneuvers. Um, so that gives me, I ignore AP one and two. Obviously doesn't help against the demolish cannon, but could be helpful if you get a repeat of what you just did. Indeed. So, yeah. We're gonna do heavy bolters first uh, for some tracer fire. Because okay. that's why I only got two shots of demolish yeah. cannon last time, you see. It's a very logical statement. Yes. Okay, six hits, fives and sixes to wound. It's two wounds. Two wounds. Okay, so I ignore the AP one here. So of course I roll a three. Uh, so two damage goes through, two shrugs, no shrugs. Okay, very good, I'm down to The demolisher eight. cannon is four. So right. it's better than last, 100% increase because of my tracer fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, look, there is logic to this, to this. It, it, you know. I hit you all the times. Good. The tracer fire is coming into effect. Uh, I wound you. Uh, three times. I get no save. Okay, it's 3d6. Uh, that is 11 wounds. 11 wounds. I have Eleven, eight I remaining, say. so I need to pass four sixes here. Uh, I've got five in my hands. Uh, right, another six to go. I'll just roll these five again. I can't see it happening. He's dead. Okay. Does he explode? 
He does not. There are five inside. I'll just roll for them now. Whilst they're coming out, something we should mention right now, the trough of plenty is a work in progress. It is, it will expand over time, but we have been graced to uh, allow, if a dice rolls outside of the trough of plenty and is flat, we will not be re-rolling it anymore. Much better. Like so. And then of course it's, it's cocked. So. <laughs> Damn it, chef. Okay, none of them die, that's good. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I do this all the time. It's just like, oh, look, look, look if you do this, like we, 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 when we're doing play testing, it's like, look, for example, this would happen. It's like, yo, look, I mean, this is really good. Oh, it's double one. Okay, fine. I'll just, I'll just shut up. The far basilisk now levels his gun somehow on the non-rotational bit with a bunker attached to it. <laughs> uh, into what? Uh, into this uh, truck down here with six wings left. Okay, very good. So it's 2d6 for the shots. Pick it the highest. I'll take the six. I'll take it. Uh, four, five, six, and then we're hitting on... Fours. Fours, we're rolling ones because he is over 36 inches away. Yes, we have a Master of Ordnance nearby. Good thing too. With these two ones here, although it makes okay. absolutely no difference. It's uh, three hits. All right, freeze to wound. I wound you three times. I get no save. Okay. Uh, it's D3 damage. Yep. Uh, it is three, six four, damage. five, six damage. Okay, I need a single six here to survive. That would be nice. Diddly, 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 diddly. I do get a single six. Oh, you swine. Fine. The middle basilisk, the same target, he must be brought down. Yes. I need to remove my maneuverability. Oh. Versus two, two shots. shots. Okay. Uh, Reroll the one. I miss you all the time. Okay, very good. Right. Fine, uh, I'm going to have to <laughs> spend a couple of command points now um, on that stratagem, which is called, you know the one I'm talking about, don't you? Uh, yeah, that Aerial one. spotter? Aerial spotter, two command points. Um, so I reroll failed hits, because I really, really need to kill it, essentially. He must be destroyed. Uh, six shots. Yeah, very nice. Uh, we are hitting on fours. <laughs> Reroll these, okay. It's Very a full cool. hoose. It's a full hoose. I wound you. Uh, five times. Five times. Yep, five D3 damage, I don't get a save. Uh, right. Six, seven, eight, nine wounds. Okay, I've got five dice in my hands here, he's dead. Okay. Very good. Does he explode? He does not. Okay. Uh, there are ten guys inside. I'll just roll for them now. The first five are fine. Mm. The second batch of five. I lose one. A respectable number. But two tanks down. It is turn one for the Gene Stealer Colt and they are on the move. Yes. The unit that was down here, which has uh, explosively disembarked from their transport, are now on this rear objective over here. This Goliath Rock Grinder has moved forward, looking to maybe get a cheeky charge up on this loop of press over here. Yes. Uh, this truck has moved forwards, um, because he has. Yeah. Over this way, we have the Sniper Man, and I forget what he's called. The Sanctus. The Sanctus. He has moved forward. Is he doing an action? He is deploying Scramblers, ah. uh, because he's not going to be able to do much this game. Okay. So, because... He's not. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, he's deploying scrabblers. Very good. Uh, we have the ridge runners over here, which has moved forwards. Uh, this truck has moved forwards as well. And we have a unit of acolytes down here, which have popped out as well. Maybe looking to get a charge off on this chimera. Yes. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it. Anything else to add? Wish me luck! <laughs> um, I don't have a cycle on the board, so we can go straight into the shooting phase. Let's do it! We'll be right back in just a moment for the shooting phase. We begin the shooting phase with the Goliath Rock Grinder here, firing its uh, super heavy flamer. Uh, the clearance incinerator. Yes. So it's, 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 it's a twin heavy flamer. Okay. It looks far cooler than that. It should have better rules. I know. <laughs> Clearance incinerator uh, okay. and the heavy stubber as well because uh, all the heavy stubber will go into the heavy weapons team actually. Yeah. Uh, provided I can see them, which I will be able to. Yes. And here. I'm in range. Yeah. Tremendous. So the, the ones out in the open. So we'll start with the heavy stubber. Yeah. Uh, I hit you twice, once even. Uh, I do wound you. It is strength four. Okie dokie. Can we make a save? You, yes, can. you can. Okay. So the clearance incinerator. Four shots. 
Very well. Uh, it is uh, three wounds at minus one, however. Three wounds at minus one? I'll take it. Here we go. Whoops. Uh, well, no, that's fine. There you go. Example. Oh. It is a save, uh, but that is uh, two, wounds. Uh, two wounds. Okay. Which is very pleasant. Cool. Unfortunately, I've reduced damage by one, so it's zero. <laughs> that's how it works, right? That's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works. Dumb, uh, <laughs> two wounds down the Lehman Rass. Good start there from the Rock Grinder. Next up, we have this truck. The back over here is firing both of its guns, the auto cannon and the heavy stubber, into the heavy weapons team. Yeah, here. Yeah. Fire away. Uh, the twin auto cannon. Right. Two's twinned. Tis a wound, it's minus one. Tis a wound at minus we'll one. We'll kill one. Needing okay. a six. Huzzah. Yeah. One is dead. The heavy stubber. Stub, stub, stub. Two hits. Two marked for deaths there. Uh, one wound. One wound. No minus. Can we make a save? You yes, can, can again. The heavy okay. stubber's bouncing off you there. Not so heavy. Fine. No. Uh, okay, uh, we'll go over to the unit inside because realistically they only have the one target, which is your boy here. Uh, so uh, we have uh, six uh, guys without weapons, and one of which is the leader. Uh, so five auto gunshots, two crack grenades. Uh, from the grenade launchers and two mining lasers. Very nice. The auto guns. Yeah. Pew pew. Pew pew. Uh, oh, there's a wound there from the auto a gun. Cheeky wound from the auto gun straight through the slit. Oh! And it is a wound! He shoots the guy that was pointing oh, out the top. You. That's what you get. Yeah, he's opened the hatch and yeah. he's been shot in the hand. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, grenade launchers. Uh, one hit. Looking for a five to wound. Oh, it's a wound there! Minus one there, Will dude. you stop it? No. Damn it. Uh, he's okay. And now the twin uh, the twin mining lasers, that would be gross. Uh, the two mining lasers, um, because I'm bladed cog, I ignore the penalty for moving and shooting. Yes. Which wouldn't have made any difference whatsoever. A free to wound. <sighs> oh. Okay. That rolling. Good. Uh, we'll go straight over to the squad next to them, uh, because then that's this flank done. Okay. Uh, everything into him, and we are just at rapid fire range with one of them. Okay. So we've got a pistol, five guys, minus one. So that's a shots. That's the, it's shots. Ten shots, even. Ten shots. Here we go. Here we go, indeed. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it's only auto gun, but you know, they did a wound last time. It's a wound there. Another wound. I'm gonna shoot him again in the head. No, please don't. Oh, it's got in his other hand. They do it. <laughs> Both hands. He's like, ah. <laughs> Both my hands have been shot. Uh, crack grenades. Both miss. He can no longer shield his eyes from the sun. The mining laser, we do get a hit. Okay. We do wound you this time, it's minus three. Minus three? Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna roll a six. Alright. Alright. Uh, <laughs> how many wounds does he have left? Uh, now he has an eight wounds. Eight left, him. yes. Okay. Eight left. Minus one damage. Fine. Uh, Alright, we'll go over to this chap here. Uh, he's going to fight everything into your layman rust that's in the dense cover because okay. there are more, less important targets. Uh, the twin auto gun. I do hit you twice because you are in the dense cover. Hooray for me. Uh, I don't wound you. Okay. The heavy stubber. Stop, stop, stop. I hit you twice. I don't wound you. Very good. We're now going to burn two CP on this unit here for raking fire and for overcharged weaponry. Raking fire. Um, yes. I will see if I get uh, that back with Kurov's Aquila. Sure. I don't know if I mentioned that in the list, actually. I don't think you did. Forgive me, everyone. Uh, but I have no. taken it and I do get a command point back. Okay. Back up to nine. Right. So, uh... what have you found? It's a one of. Bones dice. Uh, Why is it in my back? It's made its way in. Gross. Oh, boot. <laughs> right. Uh, so, do, 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 do. yes, everything is going to go into that demolisher over yonder. Okay. Um, because eight wounds. Let me have a think, actually. We'll be right back in just a moment. We're back and we are moving on to the Ridge Runners. We have two at the back over there, which will be firing into the Lehman Russ here in the cover. And then the one at the front is able to see this Lehman Russ down here yes. and is choosing to fire at him. Yes, uh, eight wounds left is just not enough to rely on the drill doing the business in combat um, because you passed against a laser cannon, so. 
so let's start with the one at the front. Uh, we've uh, we've done raking fire, so we've got plus one to hit, plus one to wound here with yes. my uh, stubbers, which is nice, and then uh, overcharged weaponry for plus one to wound on my laser. Very nice. So the stubbers. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, I do hit you five times. Very nice. We are wounding you on fives. We do get two wounds. There's no oh, minuses, of course, but the stubbers seem to be doing the business. Here we go. He should really stick yes, his head do. inside. Uh, D3 shots. Wait, with... is this on, on this guy? This is on this guy. So now he's been shot in, in uh, both feet. Somehow. He's sticking his feet out now, is Well, he? he couldn't use his hands, so he's uh, had to go on his head. I see. He's been sticking his feet out, and now they've been shot. I mean, it's, it's either that or both eyes, and I don't want to go for both eyes. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit too grim. Uh, the D3 shots on the heavy mining laser is one. Uh, does it hit? It doesn't. Curse is good. Okay, we'll Did go over... down to six wounds? Uh, it's down to seven. Seven wounds, forgive me. It's not enough. Uh, over on to your boy over there. My oh boy. Okay, so this is your heavy stubbers. You're in dense cover. Do you get plus one to wound here? Uh, it's three wounds there. Okay. But this is the guy with a two up save, right? Yes. Cool. <laughs> you do take one. <laughs> I mean, it's completely irrelevant. You're healing all these wounds in your next turn anyway. Um, so I need to kill you. Um, the mining lasers, six shots. Okay. I need it because I'm hitting on fives. Yeah. Excellent. Oh no. Uh, that's my shooting phase done. Okay, that's the shooting phase over. Will it be enough? No. Uh, per maybe not. Uh, but we do have this drill man down here that could get a charge off. Will it be enough to finish him off? We'll just have to wait and see. We'll be back for the charge phase. It's a charge phase and we've got three units charging. Over here, this truck is going to be charging into the... I'm an idiot and forgot to fire all the guys over here. Oh! So I got very excited about them. Oh, well, so let's go back a sec. Delete that bit. Yeah. And we'll do the guys inside here. Delete it from your mind. Uh, uh, yeah. So we'll fire um, these guys here mm. uh, into. Well, let's do something simple. We're going to throw a blasting charge and four auto pistols into that chimera. A charge of blast. Uh, the blasting charge, two shots. So I'll just do them at the same time as my pistols because it's all the same straight. Uh, I hit two twice. I wound you nil times. Okay. okay. Uh, so then we'll do this one here. Um, we'll do everything into that. Yeah. Because the heavy see stubbers the seem rest. to be doing the business. Well, yeah. my anti-tank weapons. Not like that. Uh, the twin auto cannon. Uh, one wound at minus one there. There's a wound. Here we go. Loves it. Uh, yep, he's cool. okay. Uh, the unit inside. Ooh. Uh, we will fire um, both of our mining lasers at him, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll fire everything else at that. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so yeah, because you're going to heal like two D three to him each turn with the engine sear and your. Uh, jury rig repairs, so yeah, I'll leave it. Uh, yeah, so uh, everything into that. Uh, we'll do the crack grenades first. Both hit. No wounds. Okay. Uh, the auto pistol, just whilst I remember that, it's a hit. It's not a wound. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From the normal guys. No wounds. And now two mining lasers into your tank commander over there. One hit. No wounds. Cool. Glad we did that. Okay. The charge phase. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, should we go straight into it? Yes. Uh, okay. So we're going to do this truck here into that chimera. Very nice. Uh, I need like a nine. No. Okay. Uh, these guys here into that chimera. Yes. Maybe. I should do it, I think. Yes. Yep, very good. Cool. And then the Goliath into your Lehman Russ. Okay. Uh, you cannot overwatch against Goliath uh, Rock Grinders because their drill absorbs all of the firepower you see. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a shame. Go on, get your dice. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to spend a command point for uh, defensive gunners. So I'm hitting on fives and sixes. So don't forget to spend your command point for Overwatch as well because you still have to do it like that. Oh, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm down to uh, seven command points. Okay. Here we go, so heavy bolters first. I can't evasive driving this either. So cool. uh, my reroll ones, does that last for the turn? I believe that's shooting phase. Yeah. So uh, two hits, uh, one wound. One wound, uh, five up save here. No. Okay. And two shrugs. 
No, I'm down to eight wounds remaining. Okay, D6 shots. Um, it, okay. <laughs> Four, five, six. Um, and then we are hitting you on uh, fives and sixes. I do hit you twice. Wounding. Right. That's quite lucky for me. <laughs> I needed that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do need an eight. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, this is not a shooting army, but maybe it's a combat army. I getting, don't know. Getting very interesting here. Right. Well, we right. will move in this unit and the acolytes, and we'll be back for the fight phase. The fight phase begins here. The rock grind has smashed into the front of the Lehman Russ. Will its bladed ram of plenty be enough to shred the hull to pieces? I don't know. Okay. Let's find out. Uh, the confidence. So, so I'm going to spend the CP on overthrow the oppressors because I can. Uh, so fives and sixes explode. Yeah. Which is nice. Um, bear in mind that this is, uh, I get to make an additional uh, attack roll. I don't get auto hitting because this is an old, terrible codex. Okay. Um, I think you've made it very clear that you're not a big fan no, of the I codex. don't. The, the codex is awful. Um, <laughs> right. So I've got uh, six attacks on um, because I'm unharmed. I get an additional D3 on the charge, which is two. So eight. Okay. So we're looking for fours to hit here. Oh, wow. Okay. A single five. Uh, does hit, does it ex get an extra attack? No, okay. Uh, I am winning on freeze because I'm strength nine. Uh, that is one, two, three, four wounds at minus two. Four wounds at minus two, is it? Yes. Here we go. Uh, two go through. Uh, and the fourth one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three go through. Okay, so 3d3 damage, but you reduce the damage by one. Yep. So the first one does one damage. The third one, uh, the second one even does two damage, so he's got three wounds remaining. I yes. cannot kill him. Uh, it does one damage, so four damage in total. Cool. Two wounds left on the Lehman Russ. He is alive for now. Next up, it's the Acolytes looking to tear their way through this Chimera's hull with their piercing claws. I mean, it's very unlikely. Yes. Uh, hitting on freeze. 16 attacks coming in hot. <sighs> okay. The dream is alive, just. How many wounds do they have? 10 or 11? I can never remember. Uh, I think it's 11, because I'm pretty sure they degrade. Uh, well, I mean, with three wounds right. at minus one, uh, it doesn't matter how many wounds. Okay. I do fail two. Okay. Um, so there are two wounds down on this Chimera. Okay. Strike me back with all your hatred. I will. We punch back with the. Uh, <laughs> the the driver with no hands. Let's see if he can strike true. Uh, he's got, we've got two, 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 two attacks. I do hit you once. You do? I've hit you with my headbutt of plenty. Mm. Ready? <laughs> he wounds the Goliath. No, he doesn't. Oh man, that would have been so good. Uh, right, and then three attacks for the Chimera. Uh, I hit you once. Yes. I wound you one time. You kill one. Okay, one gets stuck under the track and it is splatted. Splat. A good measure. Right, that brings to the end of the turn. Uh, a mixed bag. Uh, no, a mixed bag implies that some good things happened. It was a mixed bag of rubbish. Uh, I mean, so I've tied up the, the back. They, they don't have a full back and shoot stratagem, do the guards? I don't think the Lehman Rust does, but I have to check. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't. So that does mean that he is uh, not gonna be doing much. Yeah, the, so that's um, something. Yeah. Um, that will help a bit. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we just kind of gonna have to see. You've got the board control to kind of zone out a lot of my stuff, um, but obviously that will keep you hemmed to where you want to be. Tough one. Uh, I mean, turn two is always make or break for GC the Colts, but it could do. It just would have been nice to kill one thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, hey ho. Yeah. We well, we go. still have nine hundred over nine hundred points worth of reinforcements. Nine hundred so. and. 20 points, I think it was. Yeah, so not insignificant. Um, so we'll have to see what happens yeah. there. Uh, I do get uh, three points for grind, grind, it, grind them down. Yes, there wasn't um, much I could, could have done about that, to be yeah. honest. 
but I do need to clear some more stuff now because as we just said, there's a lot due to come in in turn two for the Gene Sealers. So let's move straight on to battle round two. We'll be back in just a moment. Turn two for the Admech. The command phase has been and gone. We've gained a CP. We've gained our 10 victory points for holding one, holding two. Very nice. Yes. It's kind of why I had to make that charge there. I didn't really want Bid getting the lead in the primary so early. Yep. Um, so sacrifices must be made for the good of the Foran Emperor. <laughs> uh, so we've marched forward with the Bulgrins here, uh, disembarked with the unit that was inside the Chimera. They have jumped out. Um, I could have like consolidated forward to try and minimize that, but I mean, it was so minimal anyway that it was kind of moot. Uh, we've held firm with this Chimera here, looking to block uh, the tank commander from being charged uh, from uh, various trucks. Uh, over here, we have formed up defensive rankings with the uh, guard squad here. Mm. Holding firm with the Basilisks, heavy weapons teams over there standing still to the guard squad shielding them. Characters have marched forward. The Astropath, Inquisitor High, Degger, and Nork Dedalk uh, in the center there. No, no, Scarborough to get you with his head back. Uh, uh, sounds pretty... Uh, uh, yeah. That sounds pretty awkward. Straight later, yeah, but I want to use it in this game. It's not allowed. No, it's, come on. It's not allowed. Let me have a go. No. Uh, we have fallen back with the uh, tank commander over there. Uh, we did roll for the jury rig repairs. We got a four for him, so he healed a wound. Yes. And uh, we got... It doesn't really matter because we've got an engine here right behind him. Uh, so he's just healed up there. Uh, so we've fallen back with the tank commander there. No tank commander this time. Um, and we've moved forward with the chimera here. Looking to be a bit tricky. Just putting on a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure, you see. Pressure uh, so, um, we'll have to see what happens. Yes. We do have a psychic phase coming up. Uh, are we going to buff up the Bulgrins again? Are we going to do some smitey white here? We'll have to find out. Inquisitor High Decker! Ah! Casting powers. That is will. Ah, automatically passing. No. Yes. <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, we'll start off with the smites. Okay. So he can smites. cast two, can't he? He can cast oh, two. That's yeah. nice because he uh, has psychic mastery. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Cool. And I don't want to alarm you. That was exactly a five again. It was exactly a five. Psychic precision from Inquisitor Heidegger. It's exactly what he needed. I can't deny it. Three mortal wounds. It's it's good. It's very good, free of dead. Uh, it's obviously from this unit here. Expelliarmus! <laughs> I mean, they have certainly been expelled from this mortal realm. <laughs> um, and now he's going to do warding incantation onto the Balgrin. Okay. On a seven! It's one more than he needed. So he's just slightly, slightly more starting precise. To, he's starting to ramp up his psychic prowess. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Very okay. Uh, I will remove those three in a moment. Cool. And we'll do a night shroud from the Astropath. That goes off too. Okay, very good. Thousands Oops. of the Bulgrins, obviously. Of course. Okay, buffed up and smitten. A successful psychic phase. The first of the Basilisk calling down for the aerial spotter again in the shooting phase. Uh, we'll, come, we'll, we'll come back for the um, uh, orders in a minute. We just want Oh, to... yeah, sorry. Didn't mention that. Okay. We'll do this first. We'll do this first. Um, we want to get this out of the way. Right, the shots. This oh. is all into this Goliath uh, rock grinder here, by the way, I've, guys. I've spent, spent tuppence. Uh, four shots. Four shots. So I'm down to six command points. Yes. I hit you, reroll the one for the Marsh of Ordnance. And the free because uh, that's... Actually, no, because... But you're rerolling because of Aerial Spotter anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's what, that's what I <laughs> so, that's yeah, what so reroll the free as well. Okay, it was meant to be. Uh, threes. It's three wounds. I don't get a say. Okay, three D, three. Uh, one, one, and three. Okay, so five. That's five. Six up shrugs. I will do this every time, just to annoy you all. <laughs> we can roll onto the table now. No. Okay. Uh, I take five damage, very good. Okay, so orders wise, we have done uh, take aim and take aim um, on both of the heavy weapons teams from the commander over here, hiding by the pillar. Uh, we've done gunners kill on sight on ourselves, of course. Um, over there, we don't need to do any um, he's orders. He's going to pop smoke. He's just going to pop smoke just as a general aside. Why not, right? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to continue with the artillery train, this one in the center here, uh, presumably into the free wound Goliath. You presume correctly. Okay, very good. Here we go. Uh, no re rolls here, though, so you know. Uh, three shots. Three shots, bid. Is all I've got. It's only one hit there. One hit. But it is a wound. I don't get a save. Okay. D3 wounds. It's, it's two. two. Can I make a shrug? Shruggy shrug. I'm gonna do it every time. It's... Uh, 
It's I saw a, a cocked as a four. It's a four, fine. It doesn't matter, I still don't shrug anything. Very good, I've got one wound left. I still need to fight my last Can one. he see him with his heavy bolter? Thanks to his track, probably. Yes! Yeah, why not? Uh, I hit it. you once. I wound you! No, you don't. None. None times. None times. None more dead. Uh, we'll move on to the final one. Sure. He has six shots. Okay, very good. Six shots. Miss with all of these, I would appreciate it. Yes, here we go. If you uh, could, that's not missing you. with all of them. <laughs> that's, that's, several that's, times. It's good. I wound you. Uh, I am pretty much dead. Uh, yeah. Roll your damage just in case you roll like all ones and I roll four sixes. No, okay, very good. He's dead. Awesome. There's a shock. <laughs> do I explode? Yes, I do. I get enough. Yes, I do, bird! Damn it. Oh, no. All right, fine. An implosion. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been cool. Take out your character. Uh, right. Five guys inside. Oh, they are... No messing around! No, they, they really want to get out. They're going to jump up with knives in their teeth and uh, stuff on their backs. The commander now levels his demolisher cannon and his heavy blotters into this goliath at the front here. The gunner's taking aim and killing on sight has obviously been employed. Yes. Here we go. I'll blot him first. Ah, uh, the tracer blots. Tracer fire. That's good. Bro. That's very accurate blots. Uh, fives and sixes to wound. Yes. I wound you two nice. wounds. Two wounds. Okay. Wound minus, you two, Lee. Minus one, so five ups. Ooh, I oh, I make a save there, Ben. Okay, cheeky one. Two damage goes through, though. Uh, I don't shrug anything. Cool. Okay. I'm down to eight wounds remaining. Uh, the demolish cannon. One shot. Uh, plus your extra d6, because you've obviously not moved this time. Five shots. Yeah, you've not moved, so you get your grinding advance. Uh, I mean, you technically have moved for the purposes of grinding advance. You've shuffled half an inch so that you can gain the benefit of said rule. Yes. Because we're all friends here. We're all, we're all good pals. Um, oh. Okay. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus three. I don't get a save, but it is 2 d I'm going to reroll one of these because I have a million come up. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. say a million. I have not got a million. Okay. Uh, 2 d well, damage. Now. What? Your damage, sir. 2d6. Okay. Four. Four. Should right. have saved it for the damage roll. Maybe. Uh, I don't shrug anything. I've, I've shrugged like one of these. This is so rubbish. Shocker. The sixth okay. shrug is, is... It's is, just kind of a waste of time, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I am down to four wounds remaining. The Chimera now levels all of his guns, of which he's got quite a lot, actually, uh, yeah. into this four-wound Goliath. Can we get as lucky as I was with my heavy stubbers? Let's find out together, shall we? This is the Lasgun Array to kick it off. The Lasgun Array. We remembered it, everyone! Yay! The Array of Lasguns. There is a unit in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six is to win, though. Huh? No. Okay. okay. Never mind. Uh, we've then got uh, three shots with the multi laser. Multi lasers, three shots. Three shots with the multi laser. Uh, I hit you yeah. three times. Okay. Uh, forced wound. Strength, it twice. is strength six. Minus zero. Uh, I, oh, I saved them on a double six. Okay. I probably could have done with that against the heavy bolter, to be honest. Well, the heavy, the heavy blotter is next. I hit you no times. Excellent. I have weathered the storm. Yeah. But we're not done. There's a storm bolter. Fear the storm bolter. I, I, I occasionally do fear the pinto. Fear it, chef. What did I say? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you did four times. Five to wind. Okay. I mean, it was very accurate storm. storm it was. Five. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a very uh, low-powered storm. We're going to move on to this one over here. Oh, he's fallen back. Um, so he's going to shoot his shots into him as well. Okay, we want to try and get rid of him. But... want to whittle off a few more wounds. Whittle? Uh, Multi-laser. Uh, I've hit you twice. Do you mean the las guns? What? Yes. <laughs> oh, there's a wound there. The mighty las gun. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, no, there is a unit in there. Yes, yeah. carry on. One wound. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Uh, we then have the, the multi-laser. Okay. Multiple. Well, not multiple. Just multiple one. laser. It's a hit. It is. No wounds. No way. I'm tough to six. Uh, and then we have the heavy blotter. Blot, blot, blot. One hit. And no wounds. No wounds. And okay. then we have the storm combination bolter. storm bolter. Ah, the combination storm bolter. Yes. Very, Very heretical. Right. One hit and no wounds. Okay, so we've survived the anti-infantry firepower there. Oh. Uh, as mentioned, the Chimera has fallen back, as has the tank commander. We do have some characters in the centre, though, that would be able to learn their firepower, but we'll have to see what Mr. Beard wants to do. Headquarters of the High Dagger! The infantry squad in the centre, splitting some firepower based on line of sight. Uh, what are we doing, Mr. Beard? Uh, we are firing them. So rapid fire. Five of them can see into the uh, acolytes down there. Okay. And the other five that can't see them, I presume into the guy in the centre. 
Um, yeah. Or into the tank and try your luck. Yes. Yeah, I'll just finish him off, I think. Would, uh, no, I'm going to charge him with them. Uh, I'll do it into the, into the, um, sure. into the truck. Into the truck. Okay, Here so this go. is on the five-man squad, first of all. It is indeed. Rapid fire. Not bad. Well Not done, Jasmine. Accuracy. Mm. Discipline. Etc. High powered uh, Laz. Yeah, uh, four wounds. Okay. Uh, three are dead. Wow. Uh, yeah. Five shots into the truck now, just out of rapid fire by a whisker. Ah! A whisker. Uh, two hits. Yes. No, no wounds. No. Okay. Uh, I know what I'm doing next. Go for it. I'm going to go for it. So we're going to do uh, this heavy weapons team over here. Um, are going to. We can't see these two. But uh, one of them can see the unit at the back over there. Okay, so into this near fight squad here. Very good. Yes. Definitely range because 42 is very nice. Yes. Uh, two hits. Okay. Two wounds. Two wounds. Two six up saves. Two dead. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go on to this rear unit back here. Same shtick. Same target. All right, very nice. I'll Mind remove the two in a moment. Uh, oh, did you reroll the ones for the last? Batch. I didn't have any ones to reroll. Okay, very good. Yep. You do here though. I do. And it's I do. nearly a full house with guardsmen. Wow, very house. good shooting. Incredible. Uh, three. Uh, that is six wounds. Six wounds. Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six up, invulnerable saves. The bladed cog does come into effect a little bit there. Okay. Four more slain. That is six in total. Cut down. Nasty. Nork dead dog now. Fires his ripper gun into the four wound truck because that's all he's got in range because it's only 12 inch range yes he's gonna show it with his old ripper gun isn't he here we go uh two uh three shots i believe yeah uh what's his ballistic skill i imagine oh it's four so i hit you twice that's nice that's nice i'm gonna wound you twice no I don't wound okay you very anymore. good <laughs> fair enough worth a go uh right I did shout Inquisitor Heidegger earlier on, but now it is time for Inquisitor Heidegger to unleash the power of the Psychadon into these pathetic monstrosities down here. They are not chaos, so my quarry means nothing, but I will kill you nonetheless. I hit you three times, I will wound you on three. No. Twos. Strength is tough as three. Twos. I wound you three, three, okay. uh, three times. Six up in the Minus one. I'm dead. You're dead. Exactly the amount of wounds required to fail to eliminate the unit. Aye, ah, Inquisitor Heidegger. It is now the charge phase. The Bulgrins charging my lone guy in the center. Yes! A four is required. A four is what you get. Heidegger told them exactly what they <laughs> needed because they're a bit dim. Uh, but they're in on a four. Okay, any other charges? Um, just for a laugh, I'm going to try and charge in uh, Nork into him as well. Sure. I don't know what he needs. It's the probably flying quite headbutt. High. It's a nine. Probably not enough. Given I don't think it is down. enough. No, it's not nearly enough. Okay. Well, he would have needed a ten. Okay. He's just, instead, he's just going to shine up his head for next time. Right. Polish it. Okay, very good. <laughs> we'll let you move the Bulgrins in and be right back. It is the fight phase. I was just saying to Beard off camera, he's only got three in there, and then he holds up a whole palm full of dice. I forgot they get plus one attack on the charge. <laughs> it's just so I'm a little bit closer to my characters. So yeah, it makes sense. Otherwise... I mean, they can be sniped, but uh, it's cute. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they can be sniped. Yes, oh, I don't have all. I'm moving swiftly on. Yes, die. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think he might be dead. Yeah. Um, but he's going to be the hero that the cult needs right now. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I, here's a bunch of six up in buns. Oh, look, he's dead. Uh, I did pass two of them, but That's I mean, good. he still took, he, he he still took six damage. Uh, <laughs> he has been smashed into pieces. Lovely. That's the end of my turn. Very nice. Yes. Look, very good turn. Uh, crippled some of my smaller units, which would be useful for actions. Uh, didn't quite get rid of that truck there, no. but uh, getting rid of both of my rock grinders this early on has removed a huge amount of my melee punch against your tanks, although we all saw what he actually did. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's not a big loss. Um, but also some anti-infantry firepower. The Flamers would have been pretty handy here. But I do have uh, two big units as well as a bunch of characters to come in. Uh, they will need to really do the business here. So we'll have to see what happens. Just got a quick morale check to do for these boys here. Yes. Uh, they lost uh, six of their number this turn. They are fine. Oh, brave That's boys. helpful. That we is want to mine. We just, just leave yeah. us alone. We're just yeah. mining. Yeah. Uh, so uh, not 
bad. You've killed one, two, three units this turn for grind it down. Uh, another good start there. You did get the three points for uh, direct assault there. Uh, no assassinate still, but that's because most of my characters are in reserve. A sneaky sneakersons. Let's see how sneaky they will be in the Gene Stealer Cult turn two. Welcome back. It is turn two for the Gene Stealer Cult and the Cult Ambush. A sprung? Yes. Over here, the Broodlord has popped up with his uh, band of merry men. Yes. Um, also known as Acolytes with many, many rock saws that are looking to take many pieces out of the remnants of this Lehman Russ over here. There's only so many he can hold back with no hands. Uh, we have the three remaining uh, heroes of this squad have jumped onto this objective. They are sitting pretty there. Uh, this truck has had a bit of a move forward as well, looking to uh, get a cheeky charge off onto the tanks here to shut them down in the next turn, which is very pleasant. Mm. Over this way, we can see that the Ridge Runners and this truck have moved forward as well. And over here, there he is. He's managed to get line of sight onto a couple of characters. He can see everyone up here arrayed in the church. And speaking of in the church, he's arrived. Kel the Kellamorph, the gun swinging son of a gun, has appeared from the top of the church here and he is looking to put holes into all of my characters down here with his gun slinging goodness. He was lying in wait. He really, really was. Yeah. He just set up his little sleeping bag up there. Yep. Had some breakfast and woke up to work. Yeah, he woke up and he was like, oh yeah, I got to kill some stuff. Yeah. Um, over this way, we can see that these troopers down here are moving forwards, looking to uh, put some her into this chimera. Chimera? Ooh. Why not? Um, and steal the objective. Yes. Over this way, we can see that the, oh, what are they called again? Uh, Aberrant, Abominant, and Biophagus. Yes, they have all arrived. Yes. And they are looking to get some charges off as well. Um, they are a little bit closer to the Lehman Russ than you normally expect because they're sneaky sneakersons. I have uh, gonna change up something to, to that I won't, I mentioned to you, Beard, and oh. I'm actually, so, cause I've completely forgot about this. So they actually had enough movement to get into here, to get into the um, thing. Cause what I had was these guys were doing deploy scramblers. Oh yes. Instead, the Biophagus is gonna deploy scramblers ah. because he's also not in a deployment zone yes. currently. Um, and his ability is not an aura, so you're able to do that and the action. Oh, very nice. Um, so he did that. Um, so yeah, he's gonna deploy scramblers um, because if he dies now, I don't really mind. Um, whereas they've got some last cannons, which may help me. Very good. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of it. Yeah, these guys is about, they moved up. Um, look, I mean, it's Gene Stealer Colts in turn two. Uh, I've spent, I've just spent five CP. <laughs> Because uh, these guys used uh, Perfect Ambush. I rolled a four, a respectable number. Yes. Uh, I would have liked the six, of course, but hey, I'll take the four. Uh, and the amount of times where I've done it and I've rolled a one <laughs> is very upsetting for free CP. Uh, so look, I mean, yeah, GC the Colts turn two, it's it's you go big or you go home in body bags. Yes. Uh, not sleeping bags like Kel. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we just kind of have to see how, how hard I can hit this turn. If I do, I'm going to be in for a good time. If I don't, Beard's gonna be in for a good time. Yes. So either way, someone's gonna have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> You're all gonna have a good time in 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 uh, YouTube land. But yeah, that's anyway, sick. that's that. Let's wish Mr. Chef luck. We'll be back very shortly for the psychic phase oh. for the Gene Stealers. It's the psychic phase, and we begin with everyone's favorite psyker, apart from Heidegger. Uh, it is the Broodlord, and he's casting uh, Undying Vigor onto the Acolytes next to him, the hybrid, sorry, next yes. to him, over there. He's out of denial range. My three denies mean nothing. Yeah. And Crystal Heidegger says, yeah! And I say, yeah! Yeah. So they have a 5 up shrug. Very nice. Uh, that's my psychic phase done. Okay. That was very swift. Yes. We, we will be back, in that case, for some shooting. It's mining laser time. Mm. The three heroes, led by Chainsword Man, are going to fire two of their mining lasers into this chimera over here with eight wounds remaining. Yes, and the leader is going to... Is he that in six inches there of the tank commander? Uh, oh. Sadly not. Okay, so he will fire his auto pistol at the guy that's sticking his single leg out. Yeah, it was actually... Um, no. Oh, it was actually... Uh, he. We've just had communication. It wasn't his legs that got shot the, second, the third and fourth time. It was actually his ears. Oh! So he can't hear what's coming there. So he can't hear his own orders. He's got both ears blown off and both hands blown off. That's 
pretty grim. Yeah. Two mining lasers. Mining lasers. Laser. It's a double hit. Well, it's about time. It's a double wound. It's a double wound. It's minus three. You do have a six up save. I sure do. Here we go. 2d6 damage. Damn it. Uh, that's fine. Three wounds remaining. I'm going to have to wear that. Okay. Five wounds down on the Chimera. Next up is this recently disembarked unit down here. Two mining lasers and a blasting charge. The charge of blasting being thrown into the Chimera. Yes, and everything else, I think. And everything uh, else. Because... Pistols. Water bottles. That dense cover is really annoying on him. And he has a two up save, doesn't he? So yeah, everything everything into the um, uh, Chimera. Lovely. So we Seems... have 10 auto guns. Good shooting. Yep, 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 yep. No wounding. Okay. And blasting charge. Blast me. Oh. Five shots. Okay. Okay. Okay, the blasting okay. charge is very explosive. Uh, one wound. One wound. One wound. Any AP? No, no, no. Does anything have any AP in this army? Nope. <laughs> Pretty much no. I'm really sad. <sighs> GC LeCoult deserves so much more. I know. I'm going to start a campaign. A Kickstarter uh, called uh, Make Gene Stealers Really Great. Yeah, um, that'd be nice. And but alas, we are where we are. Uh, two crack grenades, one hit. Okay. Ooh. No wound. Okay. Two mining lasers, one hit. Okay. One wound. This okay. does have AP, it's AP3. AP3. Three. three APs to be exact. It does go through. The D6 damage, it is free. Three wounds down on the Chimera. Very well. That will have to do this for now. Next up is a Goliath truck, and he is firing his weaponry into this Chimera down here. Three wounds remain. Yes. Can he uh, rid him of these wounds? Maybe. The heavy stubber. Stop, stop, stop. No. Oh, no, it's out of ammo. The auto cannons. Two hits there. Forced to wound. One wound, minus one. Minus one, needing a four. Loves it. There's a four. Cool. Uh, right. Now I don't know what to do. Not that I knew what to do anyway, because I don't manage to kill anything in any turns. Um, Would you like to have a thing? Yes. Okay, we'll return <laughs> after these messages. It's the Whirling Dervish. They are doing donuts in the battlefield <laughs> down here and yep. firing their weapons all over the place. Yep. So we have the heavy stubbers going into the guardsmen in the building over here. We have one mining laser going into this chimera over here. Why do I keep saying chimera? I don't know. We're going to do one mining laser into this one in the middle. Yes. Okay. And then one into this chimera over here on the objective. Yes. Now... Uh, Spinneroonie. Uh, Spinneroonie, yeah. So I'll address this now for, for those of you already typing that it upsets you that I'm split firing. I don't care. <laughs> you tell them, sure. I don't care. You so, like, but I'll, I'll put it into some context for you. Um, there's no point shooting at this guy with his minus one to hit and with these guys four inches away. Yes. There's no point firing 3D3 shots into this guy because yes. it will be overkill. Yes. There's no point firing them into them because they'll still have a five up save and they've got a minus one to hit. Yes. I'm not, I can't see that guy. Yes. I have a plan for him. Yes. And also uh, it'll be minus one to hit. So it's, I'm, I'm making the best of a awful situation. You do um, you. Oh, he's off. You can't I'm going to get away. a post-it note. I'm going to put it on here called Codex Awful Situation. <laughs> So like that's literally what I'm I'm trying my best here, all right? But if you don't like it, Listen, I don't, I don't you're care. You're running Gene Stealer Cole. I know, right? You're doing it for everyone else. <laughs> uh, so we'll start with the heavy start. I have spent two CP for uh, raking fire and for um, overcharged weaponry. So I've got plus one to hit and wound with my heavy stubbers and plus one to wound with my um mining razor? That's the one. Yeah. The heavy stubbers! Stub me. I intend to. Ooh! It's a good amount of stubbering, you see. Very nice. How? It's 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 magnificent. It was meant to be, is what it was. Yeah. Also, I don't know why I only rolled 12 dice there, because they've each got a heavy stubber, which is six shots each. So allow me to roll another three dice here, everyone. You, you roll a few more. I mean, it would land on a two. I've given up on that hill. <laughs> Two's to wound, though. Here we go. Uh, right, so a bunch of ones, but not bad. That was one that I knocked over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 saves, uh, no minuses, uh, and you are in light cover. Okay, so four up saves. I've got six dice in my hand. I Very can only good. hold so many. Uh, okay, so we need another Three four here. And four, five. Five dead. Half five. the unit are slain. Very good. The brave soldiers remain in the ruins of the building. They will get their revenge. <laughs> but probably through the medium of Bulgrin, because they're more likely to reap revenge. That's probably true. Yes. Uh, but now it's time for the uh, the laser mine. The, the laser show. Lasers. The laser show is The laser start. show. We'll start with this. Wounded Chimera. Into the Chimera. Three wounds left. One shot. One shot. It does hit, It is however. a hit. Right. Right. I'm wounding on twos. I... There's so much you can do. This Chimera! I can feel it. It's oh, three shots! Go. Three shots. Tasty. I hit you twice. Double hitty. Double, double woundy. woundy. Will he be double deady? Maybe. 2d6 damage. Huzzah! Ah, does he explode? He's destroyed. Does he explode? No. No. Uh, but we do have 10 men's inside. Okay. 10 men's. 10 men's is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's right. So I've got 8 dice here. Yeah. I lose three! Oof. I lose three. Right. Three brave soldiers are laid to rest in the uh, the burning wreckage. In the fiery conflagration. Yes. Uh, uh, we'll move that in a minute, but we'll just go on to the last shots into the basilisk. Right. For those of you superstitious ones out there. Ah, you see, you're learning, learning from, from, from... Oh, there you go, you see? I mean, there could be some science behind it does, this! It does make a difference. No, it doesn't. Okay. One hit. It is a win. There you go. Needing a six to save. Oh. See, that was a dice I hadn't used before. It was in my mag of plenty. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Here he is. The root in his toot in his cowboy in the western mm. spire of the galaxy. Yes. Who is he shooting? He's doing some split fire. <laughs> oh, of course he is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, annoyingly, Nork Dedog is the... Oh, I mean, annoyingly, stroke not annoyingly, he's the old school bodyguard, um, which means that he absorbs wounds on a two plus. So that ironically makes him easier to kill by shooting everyone else around him. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna fire two Liberator Auto Stubs into your Primaris Psyker. Okay. And then we're gonna fire the Oppressor's Bane into Inquisitor Heidegger, um, because it's AP2. Inquisitor Heidegger? Yes, well let's start with um, the Liberator Auto Stubs into your Primaris Psyker. Okay. I hit you three times, okay. which means I get to make three more shots. Which means I hit you six times. Incredible. It's freeze to wound him, because it's straight four. It's three wounds. Three wounds. It's minus one on these, so he'll have a five up save. Okay. Five up save on the Astropath. He right. makes two of them. So he would lose two wounds, but you can roll a d6 for each of those, and on a two plus it goes to... Oh, cool. Right. So I've done nothing so far. The Oppressor's Bane onto Heidegger. Okay. I hit you three times, which means I get to make an additional three shots. Very nice. Uh, these are free to win, but I can re-roll these. Good thing too, because I'm incapable of rolling like a human being. So four wounds there, two failed wounds, uh, which will re-rolled into that. So minus two here on uh, Heidegger, but you are in terrain, so it is a free up save. Because Five wounds. Terminator armor. Five wounds. I have wounds, okay. Uh, and Nork can't absorb these because he's not Astro Militarum. That is correct. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's just do the Sanctus into your Primaris. Why not? Let's the see. Sanctus! Let's see if we can get lucky. I hit. I do wound. It's not a mortal wound. It's minus one. Okay. Minus one. Here we go. It does go through. Okay. It's D3 damage. It is two. Two, two shrugs to make. Uh, basically. Okay, so that is actually very vital yes. because now he immediately suffers a perils. <laughs> right. So uh, that means that Nork has three wounds remaining. You'll need to roll to see how many mortal wounds he takes. Or shall I roll? It's up you, to you. You roll because you're doing the damage. Right, so he immediately, he's taken one wound, he's got four wounds, right? I believe so. It's either four or three. Right. Definitely well, not five. It, well, let's... Right. Oh. So he dies and now explodes! Oh, he explodes! The plan has worked! Well, yeah, oh. because he's died from Peril's mortal wounds. Oh my goodness. So that's actually mahoosive okay. uh, for my for my purposes. So I will accept this offering. Uh, that will not hit Kel. 
course. Uh, but it will hit Nork, which means if Nork takes three mortal wounds from his mate's head exploding, he dies as well. And he can't shrug those. No, because, because he's, he's, he's already dead. No, that's true. So that's worked way better than I was expecting. Yeah. Kel was a massive disappointment, but that's fine. Uh, so roll for the explosion, I guess. Right. Do, do you so want me to do it, or do you? Why want not? To do because it? you're I, you're not hitting any of your own models. Yeah, that's um, true. So it's D three, right? Uh, it's D three on the explosion. It won't hit the Chimera. It will hit the Bulgrins. It will hit them, and it will hit Heidegger. A psychic explosion. That's cool. Right. Let's do the let's do the troopers first. The troopers. One dice. Okay. The Bulgrins. Fine. Heidegger. Oh! Three mortal wounds on Heidegger. He's not dead. No, he's been halved. What would it be? Nork dead dog. Oh! Oh, you killed oh! How oh, did this happen? Wow. Okay, cool. Very good. That's amazing. Right, so Nork is slain. Uh, uh, the brave boy that he is. The astropath is dead. Wow. So that's six points for assassinate. With one Boom. sniper. I lucked out so hard there. That right? was, that was because if you'd have passed the mortal wound on, if you'd have passed the wound uh, on to Nork Dedog, then you wouldn't have suffered the perils because you have yeah. to actually have taken a wound from it yeah. for it to work and it wouldn't pass. So, oh, it's that's very all, stressful. That's also very cool. So, so Nork has run over and used his own body to absorb the, uh, the shots from the sniper there. But as he stands up, to check on medium dagger. <laughs> are you all right? His eyes are glowing and his head explodes. So that's fun. Wow. Amazing. Cool. Well, that's okay. the time for the books for Genius of the Cult. That's... that's that. We'll be back. Oh. You have a lie down. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> Powerful stuff. We move on now to this Goliath truck. He is going to shoot his shots into the Chimera. Three wounds remaining. Well, you have three at the end of this bit of shooting. I'm still just in awe. <laughs> it's ne it never like it's always like this really cool thing. We go, oh, that'd be really amazing if it works, and it never works. But work today. Yeah, I know, right? I needed to. You blew so, up my York. <laughs> good. Uh, the heavy stubber. Good. <laughs> the twin auto cannon. Okay. Force to wound it. Two wounds at minus one there, bitch. Cheeky. Here yeah. we go. I'm good. Oh, Oof, he's got one wound remaining. One wound left. Fine. Uh, the unit inside, and then that is my shooting phase done because these guys can't see anything to shoot at because of the obscuring. Yes. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fire... Um, I can't shoot Heidegger annoyingly. Uh, what we're going to do is... One wound. Both mining lasers into that. Okay. Both crack grenades into that. Yes. And then everything else into this unit here. We, the auto guns. The, the five guys. Okay, very yes. good. Yes. Uh, so we'll start with the auto guns. Uh, because why not, right? Why not? Uh, so 11 shots because one has an auto pistol and he is just not in range with his blasting charges. There we go. Okay. Uh, five wounds. One for each of them. Okay. No minuses, though. Five wounds, so it'll be four up saves because they are still getting the benefit of the cover there. Oh, uh, okay. So two are left. Very nice. Two left in the unit. Okay. Uh, two crack grenades. Two mining lasers. One hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Huh. Uh, that's my shooting phase done. Look, okay. I bet that did. <laughs> That was awesome, everything else not so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's make some charges. Okay, you heard the man, we'll be back for the charge phase. Okay, it's the charge phase and there are three charges being declared. Over here, the aberrants are charging into the Lehman Russ, the, the tank commander, and the, uh, the troopers there at the front, avoiding Mr. Tech Priest over there. This squad over here are also charging into the same two squads at the front over there. Then over this way, we have a large charge, but not quite as large as normal, because they have the plus one. Yes. Uh, they are charging into this tank commander over here. Uh, as is the Patriarch, he's going to try. Yes. Um, and the Abominant here is going to go into this squad here. Very good. Uh, reason why I'm not going to try and charge this guy is because it makes it a six inch charge rather than four inch charge. Yes. And I ideally want my CP for over there. Okay. Um, so, there we go. Okay. We will start with this unit here into both of them. Very good. Needing a five. 
Well, that is a seven. Beautiful. Let me move them in. We'll be right back for the next charge. Next up, the Aberrants are charging in. They need a four inch charge this time. Damn it. Would you look at that? Well, that's okay because it all works nicely into my plan. Yes. Very good. We'll move them in and then we'll be back for these guys. The Aberrants are in and they're also going over this way. Mm. Um, next up, the Abominant is going to make a charge into the Troopers needing a six. Need a six. Ooh. Exactly what he needed. No more, no less. Tactical precision over there. Yes, the, the tactical genius that is Sloth. Okay. Okay. Over here. Over here. We're going to start with this truck. He's charging all three of them. He's going to broadside them. He's okay. going to hit the handbrake and do a tight turn okay. into all three of those tanks. Very nice. Uh, I am going to overwatch with my tank commander. Damn it. I would have rather have done it into this unit over here. Yeah, you're forcing what, my hand. That's why I'm starting with him. <laughs> I will not allow these donuts to happen anymore. No. Let me grab my dice. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've spent another command point for uh, defensive gunners, so we'll be hitting on fives and sixes. We'll start off with some tracer fire with the heavy bolters. Um, you did roll for Corral's Aquila off screen, by the way. You did get an extra CP. Yes, we forgot uh, to we mention just it ages this, ago. Uh, I did have a, a, another command point. Uh, I miss every single time. Excellent. Uh, D6 on a demolisher cannon. It's three. Okay. Fives and sixes. Three hits. Okay, I get one. Ooh. That's fine. Okay. Uh, wounding. Right. Very good. Carry on. I, I intend to. Very nice. Broadside. He's in. We'll move him in and then we'll get back onto this unit over here. The Acolyte Hybrids are charging into the tank commander. Needing an eight. Need an eight for the Clamavus. He gives them plus one to their charge. Clammy hands. Ooh. So close. Okay. This is where my CP is going to be spent. Here we go. Damn it. Curses. Fine. Goodbye, CP. <laughs> Uh, at that point, I won't charge with the Patriarch because he won't kill him anyway, I don't believe. No, no, he's going to have a go. Oh. Seven. Okay, so no. Worth a shot. Fine, that's okay. Less okay. than ideal, but I've tied up so much stuff, so it's actually okay. Indeed. Uh, right, so uh, are you going to heroically intervene with your Tech Priest? <sighs> No. No, don't do it, because I'll just fight you. <laughs> I want to. I know you want but to, I'm not but, going but to. don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, cool. We'll be back in just a moment for the fight phase. Here we go. The fight phase is underway, and we are putting our attacks into the tank commander. Some of them. Some of them. So we've got the hammer and the picks all into the tank commander. Yes. Then we've got, because we're attacking with picks, we get to make extra attacks with our rending claws. We've got um, these two here into the tank commander because I can't attack him. Yep. Um, and nor can I attack over there. But everyone's with incoherency, guys. Um, for now, obviously, if stuff starts dying, it's going to become a problem, but we'll see. Um, but we're going to do three lots of rending claw attacks, so six of them into the unit there. Very good. The hammer. Hammer time. Okay, so one misses. However, because they're within six inches of an abominant, that six becomes two hits. Lovely. Which is nice. Uh, it's strength. 11, because I got a plus one strength from him. Strength 11. Uh, it's two wounds, minus three. Needing sixes. Uh, fives, because you got a... Uh, doesn't matter. Good. Uh, we'll go over to the power picks. The picks so, it, power. Was only, it was only flat three damage. <laughs> the power picks. Ooh. Very nice. So that's three additional hits there. Piccadilly. Uh, these are strength six, so we are looking for fives to wound, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Uh, it's one, two, three, at minus two on these. Okay. So one goes through, one goes through because you got two up safe. Yeah. It's D3 damage, <laughs> of course it's the one. So just don't bother marking him up okay. because you'll heal him. Yeah. So we now have Rending Claws. The Claws uh, of Rending. On to your tank, Commander. So three hits because of the six. Uh, one wound, minus one. Minus one? Yes. Loves it. Thanks. Cool. The six attacks onto the guard squad. One extra hit there. And then it will be two to wound now because of their strength six. Yeah. Cool. That's one, two, three dead because it's rending claws and two at minus one. Two at minus one. So needing sixes here. <laughs> you get another one. Cool. Very good. Uh, so, that's them done. Yes. Very nice. The Abominant. He is attacking into the guardsman, spinning around in a circle. Big old hammer. his hammer stretched out like Zangief from Street Fighter. Ooh. Uh, the sledgehammer. 
Uh, I hit you twice because it is a minus one, but he is an aberrant, so he does get uh, free hits, essentially. Nice. Two's to kill, uh, that is free dead. Absolutely pummeled to death Boom. by Zangief. That is the end of the guardsmen. They are out of focus and slain. <laughs> <laughs> and the final five attacks going into the tank commander. They hit you three times. Three hits. I wound you no time. Okay. Very good. Uh, token attacks here. And when I say token, I mean the free ramming free attacks into important the Chimera. Attacks. Yes. One wound remaining. Can he finish him off? Yes. Oh. It's one hit. Okay. I believe I'm strength six. Right. Ah. Oh. He's definitely not strength uh, eight, so no. Uh, cool. That is uh, all of my attacks done. Okay. Chef, you, that was a pretty good tank. I mean, it's not been too bad. You do have some token attacks back, plus you got your character and all that sort of jazz, but I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Not bad. Uh, yeah, just figure out what you want to do. Right, let me grab my dice. We'll be right back. I will begin with my Tech Priest Engine Seer. He will activate Murder Frenzy Protocols. Ah. Uh, he has a mighty two attacks. Mm. Uh, I'm going to do one of which with my Servo Arm to, to pick one of them up and uh, remove their heads. Well, it's flat damage free on that, isn't it? Uh, yes. Oh, nice. So, here we go. Uh, we'll start off with his Omniscient Axe, hitting on a four. It's a hit. Mm. Uh, wounding on a... Softest four, I want to say. Okay, wounding on a three, because it's plus two strength. Right, okay, let's try that again. Wounding on a three, it's a six. He's double marked for death. It's minus two. I have a six up in them. Okay. Cool, how much damage? Damage two. Okay, so shrugs. Uh, one takes a wound. One takes a wound, very nice. Uh, we then have the Servo Arm. Mm. <laughs> It's like me! The servo arm. Okay, this is. Very good. Uh, your tank attacks over there. The, atta oh, the attack the attack. Uh, so we have D3 attacks from the Chimera. Uh, uh, we have one. Uh, uh, he, he's only got one because he's on one wound. Oh, yeah, I missed. So he uh, we have three attacks from the other Chimera, the healthiest boy in town. Nah. I miss you all the times. D3 from the Manda tank commander. Uh, one. Oh! Oh, chef. <laughs> Damn it. No. It's a... Oh no, you hit. It would be a wound. It would be. Damn you. Okay. Right. Very good. Uh, yeah, a better turn than was expected. Uh, Let's just take a moment, just for a second, to, yeah. to, to rewind and remember that my astropath was shot in the head uh, by, a, uh, by, by a sniper but he was shot in the head through so the body of uh, of Nork Dead Dog, which tried to to take the wound for him. Unfortunately, one did hit him in between the eyes. He then exploded, uh, killing Nork Dead Dog. Yeah. Doing three wounds onto um, Inquisitor Heidegger. Yeah. And then being removed from this plane. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, but it was a good turn. It was a good turn. Yeah. I've tied up a bunch of stuff. Yes, you have. Uh, damaged some stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of what you need to do when you see the cults, you just kind of have to do stuff like that and hope for the best. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that just went like a million times better than I was expecting. Uh, you do have some morale checks to do. Uh, I've got one for this squad over here, the two-man squad over there. Essentially, yes. I need a one. No. no. So one flees. As does the other. Okay. As does the other, okay. That is interesting, because I think that denies you grind them down. Oh, I think I deny grind them down anyway because uh, you'd killed one two three units that turn uh killed i've killed two, three, one two three four yeah. units already yeah so it wouldn't matter so for you know if, if in case it would have mattered i would have said just spend the two cp and auto pass um but it didn't make any difference anyway so it's yeah. fine Tremendous. Um, well, well done that cool. was a very powerful turn We've got some catching up to do now. We're not catching up. We have some work to do now mm. for the Imperial Guard. We'll be back very shortly for Battle Round 3. You join us in the command phase. We've gained victory points. We've gained a command point. We're halfway through the movement phase. Also, just slightly down, I forgot that these guys reduced damage by one as well as having a 5 up shrug, but it doesn't matter. It's done now. Importantly, desperate breakout. <sighs> Can't go anywhere otherwise. I need I need to be able to shoot those units. But I need to not roll a one, because otherwise he dies. This is on the tank commander. Okay. He breaks out desperately. He is fine. 
can't do anything else this turn, but he couldn't anyway. He was uh, he gets healed up. He uh, healed with uh, jury rigged anyway, so yeah. he doesn't need to worry about him um, in terms of the tech priest following him. Uh, obviously, there is a gap for the tech priest to sort of move out anyway because I needed to maintain coherency, otherwise I would die. Yes. Um, cool. Uh, we'll be back when the rest of the movement phase has completed and update you. Okay, we have come back now that the rest of the movement phase has been completed. We have moved over here with a unit of um, guardsmen. Where did they come from? They came from uh, this chimera over here. Ah, very good. Uh, so that chimera over there. This unit and this unit have, again, just sort of been forming up round, looking to protect the tanks from the various flanking maneuvers that have occurred here with the Gene Stealer Colts. The desperate breakout has been successful. We have moved over here. We are at threat of a heroic intervention from the Biophagus, although realistically, is it going to be there? I don't know. But more importantly, we're not under threat of a heroic intervention from the Abominant. Yes. Uh, we fell back with the Tech Priest here. Um, Fell back with the Basilisk here, stay static with the remaining two Basilisks and the heavy weapons teams, and fallen back over here with the tank commander and the two Chimeras. Yeah. So this was the one that had these troops in, so they got out before he moved. Sure, that was um, the uninjured one. That was the it? uninjured yep. one, yeah. Uh, these two have just been able to go far enough to be out of engagement range. Very nice. Uh, my company commander has moved a bit, so he's got some range and some orders. But the most important thing we need to understand here is that Inquisitor Heidegger is climbing up scaling the church to deal with the Keller Wolf. He's climbing up the church in Terminator armor to kill the Keller Wolf. Let's just think about that for a second. Oh. Oh, well, I don't have any CP to overwatch. Okay. Because otherwise I totally would, just because that's cool. Um, but we'll be back in just a moment for Heidegger's psychic face. Inquisitor Heidegger. Is going to cast Psychic Lightning. Yes. Into Cap. Yes. Very upset. We're going to do a smite first of all. Okay. Here we go. It's a six. It okay. Goes off. Uh, D3 Mortal Wounds. It's two. two. He has two wounds remaining. I'll take it. Now, I'm very tempted, very tempted to do Mental Interrogation to try and pick a command point out of Kel's brain um, to give me four command points so I can do Execution Bombardment um, and kill everything. But I'm not going to do that because that would be stupid. Yeah, just um, cast again. Castigation goes off on a six. Uh, lovely, that does go off. Okay. So uh, it's 2d6, is it 2d6? Must be 3d6. Uh, th yeah, 3d6. If I can beat your leadership, it's another d3 mortal wounds. You can. Um, yes, I can. Is it d3? Yes, d3 mortal right. wounds. I've got two wounds remaining. Can I kill him with my castigation? You can. Yes. Goodbye, Kel. He's exploded. Oh, well. Uh -huh. He tried. Yeah. We will kick off the shooting phase with the Master of Ordnance himself using his Orbitalborn Bombardment, calling it in onto the Aberrants. He does not like the Xenos scum. Uh -uh. He does not like it near his bum. Mm -mm. And he's doing Focus Bombardment, uh, which makes it just six shots, which is very nice. Yes, six shots. Hitting on threes. Uh, cool, mate, very five nice. times. Yeah. Uh, strength eight, so it'll be twos to wounds. Yeah. It's five wounds. All right, five. It's minus I, two. I, I have a six up in bun. Oh, yes, of course. So six up in buns, don't fail me now. Dilla, 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 dilla. <sighs> okay, so one is saved. Okay. Uh, the damage is D3. You will need to do these one at a time because one's on one wound and they reduce damage by one. Okay, one. so one five up shrug. He doesn't shrug it, he's okay. dead. The second one. The second one is three. So it becomes two. Kills one, so okay. two are dead. The third one is one. Shrugs it. Okay, the fourth one is two. Which becomes one. Shrugs it. So Ooh. two have been slain. Shruggy. Orders coming in from the two uh, commanders in the centre here. First rank fire, second rank fire is going from this one here onto this front unit here. And then uh, we're doing take aim, take aim from this one here where my yes. finger is. Yes. So uh, we've also done concentrated firepower on this free man unit of heavy blotters here. Yes. Uh, and they are going to unleash into the aberrant. Yes. Plus one to hit and wound. It's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. So it will be uh, threes. And re-roll the ones of which I'm there are none. Cursed twos. Uh, and it will be... Twos to wounds. Twos to wounds. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that is uh, six wounds. Six wounds. So six, six up in vulnerable thieves. Six, six ups. Six sixes. Oh. oh. Okay. I passed two. Uh, I reduce damage by one. And then shrugs. Oh, there you go. Uh, so one is dead and one is down to one wound remaining. Lovely. Just the Lasguns to finish off from that squad, and then they don't get the bonuses to hit, but that's no, fine. No, they don't. Which makes sense. 
two, two hits, hits there. Three roll the one. Three, three hits. hits. Nice. Fives. One wound. one wound. A five up save here. Loves it. Loves life. Okay. Right, so we're going to move on to this heavy weapon squad. They are actually going to fire into uh, the um, fellas over there because one of them will be going, uh, going through the dense cover. Okay. Them, which I don't like. Sure. Fours. Okay. But wouldn't have yes. made any difference. Yes, fours. I don't, would have made, would have made a big difference. difference. Yeah, big difference. Uh, this will be wounding on threes. threes. Uh, three, two, three wounds. Three wounds, so three, six up invulnerables. Okay, two die. Okay. Uh, the last guns would have been in range with one of them by the looks of it. Just have a quick little measure. 24. Rip. They both were. Oh yeah, they both would have been in range to do two last guns. Pew, pew. Oh. Okay. Pew. Yes. Yes. No. Damn. Okay. So two have been slain. Lovely. Do you know what you're doing next? Um. Yes, but I'm gonna need lots of dice. I see. Rapid fire. Thirty-five last gunshots coming in quite literally hot oh, into my neophytes. Here we go. So we reroll three dice here. I've been informed. Uh, yes, because I've only got so many dice. Sure. Look at that. All in the tray. What professional. Yes. I deserve a raise. Uh, just reroll you free now, and then we'll be back in just a moment. Very nice. We'll let you pick out the hits. Yeah. Lots of hits. Yes. Very good spread of hits. Falls to wound. The wounds. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, you say. Ten, I say. Right. Five up saves here. I've got five in my hand. Uh, I've saved two so far, so three are dead. And another five. Three. Ooh, okay, okay, very good. Only four slain. Very nice. The rear squad here, nine shots just out of rapid fire range into the squad here. No buffs or auras or uh, the orders, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, two hits. Right. No wounds. No wounds. Interesting. Inquisitor. Hi, Dagger! He's going to try and finish <laughs> him off. The Psy Cannon! The Psy Cannon! Die Cannon! Ooh. Only one hit. Right. Tis a wound. Tis a wound. Minus one. Okay, six up invulnerable. The blade of cog. No, one is slain. Very good. Dead. The squad in the centre. Five can see this free man surviving unit here, so they're going to try their luck. The other five don't really have any other targets. So if they get really lucky and kill this truck, my Ridge Runners will be in a world of Bulgrin pain. Ouch. So why not try? Here we go. Uh, so five shots into the truck. Uh, into the squad, do you mean? Because the truck would be rapid fire. Uh, the, the squad, yes. Uh, three hits. Okay. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, two dead. Oh! Okay. Okay. Uh, right, and then we'll do the. Well, one of them's a pistol. Um, sure. Come here. Right, there we go. So, nine one, two, last guns. Three. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, they are very close. Sixes. No. No sixes. This forward. I was going to call it Lemon Russ. What's it called? Basilisk. Basilisk. My brain went completely blank there. Uh, the Basilisk is firing everything into the Aberrant. Yes. Starting with the Heavy Bolter. Heavy Blotter. Pew, 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 pew. Two hits. Pew, 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 pew. One wound. Six up in bun. Oh. Becomes damage one. Five up shrug. Ah. Damn it. Okay. okay, so one is slain. The big cannon of fury. Six, six shots. shots. Very nice. So many six shots. Remove this. Get it out of my trough of plenty. Okay. Three, Three hits. hits there. Two to wound. Six is. Damn it. Your damage on the first one, sir. Is two. You think so it becomes a one? When two becomes one. I don't shrug it. And your second damage becomes one. When two becomes one. Don't shrug it. Okay, no shrugs from them this turn. Uh, two have been slain. We're going to go straight on to the next one. Straight on to the next one. Very Heavy good. blotter. Blot, blot, blot. One hit. Okay. No, no wounds. wounds. <clears throat> Remember that these two are dead. Yeah. They're, they're, they're healthy boys there. Big gun. Five. They, they like they like all their shots. Yeah, basilisk. they do. Okay. Three, Three hits. hits. Very nice. Twos. Three wins. Six is. Ah. No. Okay. First one. First one is. When two becomes one. I shrug. Ah. When one becomes one. I don't shrug. When one becomes I don't shrug. When two becomes one. You only got three hits. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> when like three see. becomes four. <laughs>
That's it for the shooting phase. It is now Bulgrin time. Uh, Bulgrin they are phase. just going to charge everything into uh, the truck and the ridge runners. We can make it into them over the debris. Yes, needing a three. Yes, it's a yes very nice. We'll let you move them in. The charge phase has been completed and we are in the fight phase. No other charges to do. The Bulgrins uh, splitting the attacks. We've got five of them, one of which is the bonehead into the ridge runners here. Yes. And then the remaining two into the four wound truck. It's clobbering time. It is indeed. Rock'em sock'em. So this is on uh, to the... This is into the Ridge Runner. That is not a good start. The Ridge Runner or the truck? Uh, the truck, sorry. The truck, okay. Uh, only three hits. Uh, it is freeze to wound, however. I believe I am only toughness six. Okay. Three wounds. Three wounds, minus one. So five up saves. Okay, I do save that. It's damage two, right? Yes. I need to pass a single six. A single six? A single six up shrug. Ah, they've been rubbish. Uh, he dies. Okay. Does he explode though? No. Yes. Oh, that was something. a very good roll. I enjoyed that. Yeah. That was powerful. That's nice. The, the, the tension. Here we go. The rest into the Achilles Ridge Runners. Uh, that is better. That is much better. Yes. Wow. Three. That's really much better. Goodness. Threes. Uh, it is indeed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dropped a couple, but not too bad. A double couple. Four. Four. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay, so I've got five in my hands here. We're looking for five up saves. Now, I do save two there. Okay. So I've got another four to make. Yeah. Okay. So four go through. Okay. Uh, they are eight wounds a pop, and these are two damage a pop, right? Yeah. So fortunately, I have flare launchers, which gives me a six up shrug. <laughs> shrug two of them. them. So I take six damage. One of the trucks is destroyed. My ridge runners still stand firm. Uh, although, I mean, the mining lasers are blast now, I believe, in the FAQ. Uh, so it does basically take them out of the uh, shooting phase. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I do have some token attacks back. I just need to check their stats. Okay, the ridge runners attacks back now. Uh, they've got three attacks each, but they are only weapon skill six, which, you know, makes sense. They are buggies. Uh, pff, I hit you twice. Good grief. Strength five. I wound you once, no AP. Uh, You're fine. Very good, because you've got the slap shield. That is that uh, pretty successful turn. Yes. Um, I do have some morales to make here, some pretty significant ones, actually. Uh, we're looking for a one on this guy here. I don't have the CP to burn on uh, Insane Bravery, guys, because now would be the time to do it. On Mr. Laser Mining Cannon over there. Okay. Oh, that's big. Okay. That's big. All right. That's es grande, as okay. they might say. As a certain bearded one might say when he has his mask on in a certain league report that's coming up. Don't know who we're talking about. Mm. Uh, and now on the aberrants. <laughs> Auto fail. They, 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 so one runs. Uh, there's one guy left. He stays, which okay. is not insignificant. Sticking around. Not insignificant, so the Hypermorph will stick around. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, there's no point um, heroically intervening over here, guys, because why bother? Yeah. I'm not going to do anything to him. Um, so we will be back for the Genius Seeder Colts turn three. Free? Yeah, free. Uh, I'm a bit thin on the ground, but it's okay. You have something to say, or are you just putting your... No, I'm just, just sticking my finger up. Good. Here we go, movement phase is done for the Gene Stealer Cult and uh, there is a lot going on. So down here, this unit has done an advance. It's only got a one, but it's a little bit closer to uh, all of these units over here. Um, we have the uh, Clamor... Clamor... Clamor bus. is still on the objective at the rear over there holding this. that. Uh, we have a four on the advance for the Brood Law that is moving forward nicely. Uh, this truck is staying in combat, but its occupants have piled out looking to deal with these troopers in the middle over here and steal the objective. It's mine. Over this way, this aberrant has moved forward, looking to engage with the basilisk. Over this way, we can see that the abominance and the uh, science man have moved forward to deal with these over here, uh, and the ridge runners are staying in combat. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm going to use the stratagem from. Um... 
greater good to let these guys advance and charge. Okay. Um, I'm just going to declare it now in case I forget to declare it in the charge phase, which is when I think it happens. Very nice. Um, so uh, we can go straight into the psychic phase. Let's uh, do it. I, I, only did, I did roll Cruiser Killer by the way for that, and I uh, didn't get another come off. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, mental onslaught, and we're going to go into Inquisitor Heidegger, because oh. that's cool. Okay. Um, yeah, why not, right? Go for it. It's cast on an eight. An eight. Can I deny it? Here we go. No. No. So no. now we roll off and we add our various leaderships to it. And I don't believe I've left myself within six inches of my Clamavus. I did, just about. Okay. Uh, so I get plus one. So I leadership 11. Uh, okay. but, so we roll off, basically. And each time you lose the roll off, you take a mortal wound until you roll a six, basically. Or sure. you beat. What's your leadership? Nine? Nine. Cool. So I've got a 15. Okay. You take a mortal wound. Okay. The next one is a 15 again. You take a mortal oh, no. wound. Okay, that's a 13. Yeah! I've met your brain! You killed him! We have mental mind powers! Oh, Inquisitor Heidecker is slain. Another three victory points there for Assassinate. Lovely work from the Broodlord. The Sanctus starting the shooting phase off. He is going to fire into the tech priest over here. Uh, I can just see his face, basically. So cool. like all the way through here, I can Good literally just shoot. see like the, literally just his face. <laughs> like everything else is out of line of sight. Good for a sniper. He hits. Nice. He does wound, it's minus one. I okay. believe they have like a free up save. There, he's fine, he's got a five up in there. Fine, it was worth a shot. He literally had no other targets. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, those guys advanced. Oh, uh, the Proclamator Hailer uh, does a mortal wound on a six to this guy because he's within six inches. This is from the Clamabus. Okay. Um, because it's really loud. He's fine. Not so loud. Um, cool. So then uh, we'll do something nice and easy here. We've got the um, heavy stubbers. Mm -hmm. I'm fairly certain that the, um, uh, what's its names are, um, blast weapons. I'll check afterwards. Just the mining lasers. Yes, I'm sure that they are because D3 um, on them just makes sense, right? So uh, we're hitting on fives because we are in combat. Do, 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 do. Looking for fives here because you are beefy. One wound, no minuses. One wound, you need a two. They're fine. Okay, very good. Uh, let me check something over here. Okay, we'll be right back. Next up, the Primus is going to hurl his blasting charges yes. into the Chimera. The blasting charge. One wound to get through. Two shots. One hit. No wounds. Okay. Uh, this, the Clamavus will fire his auto pistol because he sure. doesn't get blasting charges. He hits. He doesn't win. Okay. Fine. Uh, that is really annoying, that guy. Uh, we will go over to the squad here. Yep. Uh, we're going to fire uh, the two crack grenades into there. Yep. We'll fire the mining lasers into... Can they see that chimera there? Uh, I don't think they will be able to, you know? So they will fire into the, uh, the demolisher, demolisher. Cool. Uh, and then all the auto guns into these guys and the blasting charge from the leader. Okay. The blasting charge, uh, it'll be minimum three shots. It will be four. He hits you twice. He wounds you once, because they are strength three, yes. Good okay. One's down. Uh, the auto guns, so 10 of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, three wounds there, no minuses. Three wounds, needing fives again. Uh, one's another. okay, three dead. Two, okay. Uh, the crack grenades into that pesky chimera. <sighs> the last cannons into that pesky tank commander. Okay. I don't want you to be alarmed there, bitch. Okay. Okay, maybe be a little bit alarmed. Uh, one at minus three. One at minus three, needing a six. <laughs> <laughs> Yet again! Oh, beard. Well, actually, need okay. five. He's two up, isn't he? Uh, no. Oh, he's the minus he, one he's, damage. He's, one. The minus yeah. one, he's the minus one damage, so I mean, it's, you know. You it. needed a six. Very good. Um, that is, not, like, my, that's my shooting phase done, apart from his pistol, which goes into him. Which, do it! Like, I don't know if it can actually wound him. I do hit. 
I don't believe I wound because it's like a poison like weapon. Okay. Uh, let me check the quickly whilst I'm here. It, and when I say quickly, I mean. Oh, it was an auto pistol, so it didn't wound anyway. Okay. Cool, very good. Lovely. Um, yeah, that's my shooting phase done. Cool. Uh, I'm going to charge you now. We'll be right back. One last thing we forgot, the truck yeah. is going to fire his weapons into the Chimera. Yes, uh, I'll do the heavy stubber into these guys here just to make them a little bit weaker for yes. the killing. Um, and then the twin auto cannon into your Chimera at the rear. Very good. Heavy stubbers. One hit. No wounds. The twin auto cannon. One hit. Smoke for death, bitch! <laughs> Can you finally bring it down? Yes. yes! Finally, does it explode? Yes! yes! It explodes! Huzzah! Let's do a quick measure! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Um, so I'll roll for Chef's unit, he'll roll for mine. Right. Um, so we'll start off with the Clamavus at the back over there. Takes three wounds. Cool. The Primus takes two. Okay. Uh, the Acolytes take one. Lose one. Right. Uh, the Broodlord is out. Yes. Uh, we'll go with the truck next. Indeed. That takes, takes two. Two. And then the squad behind takes three. <laughs> A mighty explosion. Yes, uh, but it is going to hit your infantry squad here. It will. Kills two. Okay. Um, I'll just pop that over. And then on your Lehman Russ commander, Russ. commander, two wounds. Okay. Because he doesn't reduce that. No. The git. Ha. Uh, that's that then. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> he, he, he died in style at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was actually a hellhound in disguise. Yes. Surprise. <laughs> Boom. Cool. We'll remove the casualties and we'll be back for the charge phase. We begin the charge phase over here again. The truck will be charging into the Lima Russ. Yes. Can't really fail. Yeah. No. It's, 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 it's more to just absorb overwatch. Yeah. Um, those uh, acolytes there are going to charge into your Lehman Russ. Okay. Uh, because I've used the stratagem that allows them to advance the charge. Uh, they do get plus one to the charge thanks to the Clamiverse, so that does make it a six. That yeah, should, it should be do sufficient. It. Yeah. Just about. I'm no, glad we... the Clamiverse was there. Um, let me move them in because then I'll decide what to do with the Patriarch. Okay. Next, the Patriarch is, is charging both the Lehman Russ and the Chimera. Yes, uh, he will need a six. This includes his plus one for the Clamiverse. Okay. Uh, a okay. 10. Uh, with we'll the plus one it. and 11, in he goes. Move him in. Next up, the uh, last remaining aberrant is going to charge into both the Master Ordnance and the uh, Basilisk. I, I have to because of where he is. Yes. Um, oh, look. There we go. Bunk. Um, charging into both. Into both? Yes. I'm going to overwatch you in my Lehman Russ. Yeah, fine. Proceed. My last command point. Oh. Right, so let's grab my dice. Uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine. This probably isn't going to work, but it's worth a shot. Two hits, eh? Two hits with the heavy blotters. Uh, he is toughness five. Toughness five. I don't wound you any times. Very good. Uh, the Demolisher Cannon is four. four. Looking for four sixes. There's a six there. There's a six. Oi! Two's to wind. Two's to wind. A free up invulnerable save. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. The damage. The damage is that's cocked. Right. Well, he reduces damage by one. He does. Five um, he has a five-up shrug. Oh, very nice. Ugh, very okay. nice. So he takes one wound. Um, I mean, the charge I can technically fail, but not like that. So he's going to park himself there. Lovely job. Uh, the Biophagus is going to charge into your boy there. Oh, also, I realised that I said that I was done with the shooting phase. I really wasn't. I had him to shoot plus the unit that jumped inside there. So I like shot myself out of like three last cannons. There is also a massive hornet in here and yeah. it makes me extremely nervous. Okay. Um, I'll, say, so, I'll protect you. Thank you. With my um, hornet. Deflection technique. Oh god. <laughs> uh, so the Biophagus is going to go into the Tech Priest. Okay. He's keen. He's a keen being. He's a keen being. Beautiful. Uh, right, that's that. I'm going to open the door and yeah. we will be back in the fighting phase. And finally, we have uh, these guys down here charging into the troopers. Yes. On a seven, they are in. The Very Hornet nice. has been released back into the wild. Oh. Um, and we will be back in the fighting phase. We start off with the Biophagus. Rarely seen in combat, mm. attacking into the Tech Priest Engine Seer. Uh, free attacks. Uh, I hit you twice. Okay. Uh, I always wound on the two. Uh, it's two wounds, no minus. Here we go. 
Okay. Uh, he does take a wound. So it's D3 damage. Okay. And if a character loses any wounds as a result of this attack, roll a D6 after its bearer's attacks have been resolved. If the result is higher than your wounds characteristic, you take D3 mortal wounds in addition. Wow, okay. So you take two wounds. Mm -hmm. And how many wounds does he have? Uh, I'm presuming he has three or four. Okay. Um, he has... Hang on. Oh, this is the wrong book. Oh, no. We'll be right back. He has four wounds. Okay. So if I roll a five or a six, he takes D3 mortal wounds. Because oh. I have to roll over the model's wounds characteristic, not remaining wounds. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he takes... He's injected with the goad! Wow! So he takes three mortal wounds. He's, He's dead. dead. Incredible. Wow! Very good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent start. Do you want to do the abominant as well? Uh, yeah, whilst we're here, so that frees him up. Um, so we've got three attacks with my mighty hammer, of which I hit once. Okay. There you go. Uh, it's strength 11, uh, 10 even. Doesn't matter. I got two attacks with my familiar. Oh, it's two hits because I'm an aberrant. Okay. It's no wins. Okay. That was fine. That's that. We'll move on to the next unit. Okay, we've got some rock saw action coming up next into the tank commander. I'm going to start with the rock saws because I'm hoping not really enough. Uh, they're still within range of the uh, Primus um, and they're fighting the Meticulous Planner. So hitting on twos, rerolling ones for the icon, wounding on fours, rerolling ones for the Meticulous Planner. <sighs> Gosh darn it to heck. Right, reroll those ones for the cult icon. I hit you all of the times. Very nice. I'm wounding on fours. I'm re-rolling once. He's got, it would be two damage, but it's minus four. Um, but then he reduces it by once. He's got one wound left. I need a four plus here. Yay, he finally dies. Amazing. Does, Does he explode? explode? No. No, he doesn't. Very good. Lima Russ, tank commander is destroyed. Next up, it's the Patriarch. Six attacks into the Chimera. Into the Chimera. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm really zoomed in. Apologies. Uh, Rerolling the failed wounds. Cool. Uh, that's one at minus six and flat free damage. Okay. That takes three wounds. That's him done. Okay. This aberrant now striking into the basilisk. Uh, just the basilisk because I've already denied grind it down and there's something really funky happens yeah. and I've already maxed out assassinate. So I hit you twice. Uh, I wound you twice uh, at minus three. Minus three. Okay, look. Uh, that is six damage total. Very nice. And then my hypermorph tail misses. Very good. Okay. Two wins left on the Basilisk. Ten attacks now into the Troopers. Here we go. Not bad. Very nice. Not bad. Well, I say not bad, it's bang on the average. Yeah. Uh, uh, one wound. One wound. No minus. Okay. Needing a five. Oh, loves it. Okay, very good. Yeah, Fixed bayonets it. indeed, chaps. Um, that's all of my charges done. Okay. Uh, so, oh no, uh, oh yeah, no, he's done. I mean, he's just going to stay where he is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so your attacks with your Bulgrins, I guess. Yeah, let me grab my dice. Okay, next up is the Bulgrin attacks awkwardly whilst I'm rolling this. Uh, okay, not bad. Ooh, Ooh, there's quite, quite a lot of twos. misses in there. Quite a lot of twos. Uh, and this one, uh, yeah, mm, not the best. Uh, I mean, it's still pretty decent. Uh, freeze, freeze to wound. To wound. Oh, goodness. Ah, oh, one's gone on the floor. And then the one on the floor. Okay, yeah, very one, nice. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds. Ten, you say? Ten, I say. Ten, five ups. Okay, save a few. And then these are two damage a pop. Yes. So, uh, I'll need to do these two at a time because one's on two wounds. Okay, so he's dead. Mm -hmm. Does he explode? He does. Magic. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me check that. Okay. Uh, it is a three inch explosion for one mortal wound. Okay. So it will catch him. Um, and then obviously now he can be shot at. Uh, and it will catch them and obviously myself. So okay. we'll, we'll work that out in a moment. I'll just pop that there to know that he's exploded. So that's one down, yep. six to go. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so I can do these uh, four at a time now because I've got eight wounds pop. Yep. And this will go on to this one here. Okay, the one at the front. So he takes... Why did I only roll four dice? So he takes four wounds so far. He's dead. Does okay. he explode? Uh, oh no, because... Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense because I'm doing four at a time for the wounds. He doesn't explode. The final two on the last one... Uh, he fails both as well. Wow, okay. Didn't pass a single shrug there. Um, so he's down to six wounds remaining. Uh, one of your guys is down to one wound, and he's down to three wounds. Okay. Right, so let me grab my dice for my troopers. 
The troopers now, we start off with the, um, the sergeant with the chainsaw. I hate you no times. Uh, and then we have four attacks from the regular guys. I hit you three times. Nice. Wounding on fours. It's two wounds. Uh, one is slain. Okay. Very nice. One down, but it is a, uh, a larger squad <coughs> than mine. And yes, you will pinch that objective. Yes, which is very should pleasant. have everyone within three inches there. Yeah. Yes, quite easily. Cool. Uh, right, yes. So look, uh, three attacks for my, uh, for my tank commander over here. And I think we're done. No, nope, nothing there. Okay. And then three from this chimera over here that's been ravaged by the, um, the thing. No, nothing there. Very good. Cool. End of the turn. Another really good yeah, turn for the Yeah, not a card. bad one. Not a yeah. bad one at all. Um, now, weirdly, I do need to make a morale check for this. Okay. Because I lost two, um, two models. models. That's a problem. Right. Because their leadership seven. Okay. So that's a big problem. I've never um, seen a vehicle fail morale before. Well, yeah, I, I have. It's, it's a bit frustrating. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Unexpected, yes. but fine. Um, so goodbye, chap. Uh, <laughs> um, but, look, I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah, pretty good spot. Uh, that's thought... annoying that I've not managed to keep them tied up, but I mean, uh, what was the chances of that? But then likewise, what was the chances of passing that uh, morale over there? Exactly. So, you know, yeah, swings and roundabouts. Okay. Um, we've held up a bunch of stuff. Um, we've killed um, some big heavy duty stuff as well as holding up stuff. Um, see what happens in turn four. Okay. We'll be back for battle round four. So because I stupidly moved up here, I wasn't within range of this objective, <laughs> which means that Beard has now stolen it from me. By All right. Hour. Damn you, Beard. Well done, me. Damn you, Beard. But uh, it's pretty tight at the moment. I believe there's only about three or four points in it. Mm. Uh, we will obviously, you, you will have seen this far more accurately than we were talking about it. It's quite late here. But we've fallen back out of combat with this tank commander here. We have moved through the ruins with this squad on this side here, up and over. Yep. Uh, we have fallen back out of combat here. Uh, we have coming around here just following the flanks around. Uh, we've fallen out of combat here with this... Uh, Basilisk? Uh, no, sorry. This one's fallen back here because he was super duper slow. This, just this one's moved bit. sort of up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, fallen back out of combat with the Master of Ordnance. Uh, the characters holding firm around their... Um Oh, what are they called? Heavy weapons teams here. Uh, this one here has moved forward in order to provide orders and this Chimera has fallen back over here. Indeed. So, it's going to be a summary. It is. Where are we, Mr. Beard? Um, Do we I'm know just, what I'm just going to move these back this way just a little more um, because I can. Sure. Okay, we're going to start. Oh, off. and we've moved over here, obviously. Oh yeah, the ball is going to Yeah. <laughs> yes, they so, are. So, uh, do you, we want to go straight into it or do you need a moment to think? Let's go straight into it. Ooh. So, well, I'll do my orders and then we'll, we'll do some shooting. Yeah. So we're going to be doing um, hit um, uh, reroll ones over here, mm -hmm. reroll ones over here. He's going to be doing first rank right, second rank fire over here. Okay. Um, and that's it. And that's it. He yes. doesn't really need to do anything because he can't shoot this turn. Yes. Very nice. Okay, so. Do you know what you're shooting with? Yes, but I need to get my dash. Okay. First rank fire, second rank fire into the neophytes at the base of the objective. Yes. Here we go. I need to roll another three. Ooh, that's ooh, impressive. Great. Okay. Uh, let me just re-roll these three here. Very nice. Okay. We'll, we'll let you gather the dice. Thank you. Lots of hits. Will it translate to lots of wounds? Let's find out. It's not bad. Uh, not bad at one, all. Two, wow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. All right. I have five dice in my hands here. We're looking for fives. Uh, I say three so far. Two Ooh. have been dropped. Okay. The remaining five. Okay. Wow. Only four okay. dropped. There's Woo. still a few left in that squad. Crazy. Three survive, which is exactly the same number as there are there. We forgot to mention that uh, two of them fled from morale last turn. Um, so. It is currently Even Stevens in the middle there. Even Stevens, so them into your Patriarch. Okay. And this unit, oh no, it's the heavy weapons teams that have reroll ones. Yes. Very nice. So it will be five to wound, I'm tempted to five. Ooh. Okay, wow. Uh, right. Five wounds. Five, four up saves, thanks to my carapace. Uh, so I do take two wounds. Um, I'm going to roll for unquestioning loyalty on the unit that's behind me okay. and see if it passes off onto them. Sure. 
Uh, one of them does, so I take one wound and one of my mates throws himself in front of the las guns from all the way over here. It's Incredible. like shield drone nonsense all over again. Incredible. The two-man heavy blotter squad in two. My patriarch born survivor will kick in and reduce this damage by one, which is handy. It is handy. Uh, Reroll these ones. Very nice. So, and then uh, fours to win. Three wounds. Okay, uh, so five up in vulnerables here. I don't get the plus one in bun for being rusted claw, despite you all descending from my gene seed lineage. Uh, I do pass one, so two go through, so that'll be two damage. Uh, unquestioning loyalty. Uh, fine. Uh, he takes another two wounds. He is down okay. to three wounds remaining. Mm. This heavy bolter team cannot fire into the Patriarch because he is within three inches of a unit, but this unit is closer, um, which despite the fact that he is um, sort of closer than that unit, there is an enemy unit as a general whole, which is closer, which means that Lookout Sir kicks in. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to turn into much softer targets and fire two heavy bolters into this biophagus here and one into this boy here. See if we can get lucky and finish him off. Here we go. So we'll do the two into uh, him first of all. Oh, very nice. Every other one. Oh, very nice. Cool. And then Freeze. threes. <laughs> wow. Okay. They are, they are hungry. Bonus. They don't like him. No. They killed his tech priest. Uh, so I've got um, three dice in my hands here. He's dead. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> that is three points for assassinate. Very nicely done. <laughs> uh, and the other three into this guy down here. Okay. You're the one. Okay. Right. Uh, Three's to wound. Three's one wound. Only the one wound. Okay. Uh, six up in bum. A fail. It's damage two, becomes damage one, and I don't shrug it. I have one wound remaining. Oh, the laser gun from that squad will go into here. Indeed. Him. Uh, it's a hit. He's got, you'll have no um, five more, surely, if you're rapid firing. Well, two are going into him. Oh, um, right, you, you were divvying it up that way. Okay, very good. Well, that's fine, because you do have a company commander there. He's going to last pistol. He's going to charge him, yeah. Uh, Reroll the one. No. Okay. So uh, that is it. Right. Will he be the hero that the guard need right now? A heavy, oh, a heavy last pistol? Ooh, uh, a, la a last pistol uh, finishing off what the heavy bolters have started into the aberrant. Company commander. Right. This is right. Okay, fine. Uh <laughs> uh, okay, that is interesting. Um, so what we'll need to do is, hmm, we are going to do the, <laughs> Basilisk into him, so we have to do the big gun into him and the heavy bolter into him up there. Sure, because he, well, I mean, you would be able to see him with the heavy bolter if you wanted to. Yeah. Because, like, you can see from the tip of the barrel downwards. We'll put everything into him. Sure. Why not? Heavy bolter! Uh, I hit you no times. Yeah. The big cannon is six shots. Fours. I hit you twice. You do. Two sweet. One, One wound. wound. A six up in vulnerable save here, bitch! Is that required? No, okay. your damage, sir. Uh, the damage is... One. A five up shrug! Damn it, okay. they've, they've ro I've rolled so badly for the shrugs in this game. The Basilisk is amazing in this game. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, the Basilisk have done very well. But he is down, the Aberrant is no more. Hooray! The Basilisk here is going to fire into the uh, Patriarch. We are equidistant from other units, so he is eligible. That's what we can do, the heavy blotters. I hit you three times. Very nice. Wounding. Twice. Two times. Uh, I pass one in one, one goes through. Uh, I will unquestioningly loyalty it. Yes, I will, so one Very of my nice. mates dies. Okay. Uh, and then the big gun. Six, again. <laughs> Very nice, they are very consistent. They really are. Uh, okay, so only two hits. Yes. Okay. Two, two five up invulnerable saves. I pass one. Uh, so I will not die. Okay. Uh, your damage, sir. The damage is one. One, which I will pass off with unquestioning loyalty. No, I won't. Okay. So I'm down to two wounds, and one of my buddies has already died from the previous blast. Okay. You have to kill him with bayonets. Ooh. It's the charge phase time. The Bulgrins into the Sanctus. Okay. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, uh, it's enough. It's a enough. double one would have failed, yeah. but it's enough. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then we are fixing bayonets over here. We are hoping to drown the Patriarch in sheer numbers of men. I mean bayonets and attacks. Here we go. The brave boys. Uh, a five should do it. The three. Yeah, I need a four. Yeah. All right. Very You're good. In. We'll let Beard move stuff in. 
We will start with bayonets being fixed into my patriarch. Yes! Die, patriarch! Ooh, pretty good. They're, they're keen bayonets. They're, they are angry. Fives and sixes. It is fives and sixes. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. So two four up saves here. I pass one, I fail one, um, I will leave it at that. Oh, you've still got a sergeant, haven't you? Because yeah. that's how you do things. Uh, I will unquestioningly loyalty it then. Sure. Yes, I will. It works in combat, that's annoying. Oh yeah, it works against everything, it's ludicrous. Uh, when, it's only on a four plus, but... One wound. Saved. Okay. Excellent. I'll repeat um, that unit. <laughs> this is going to end very badly for the Sanctus, though. Yes, it is. So, uh, well, let's just... Um... I would just do the Bonehead, quite frankly. Yeah. With his five attacks. Uh, um, he hits hit, twice. Hit you twice. Two's to wind. Two wounds. Six up in buns. <sighs> okay, you will have to do another guy. Fine. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll do... <laughs> One at a time! <laughs> uh, okay, apparently right. he's hard to hit. Yeah, clearly. Two's... He's dead. Okay, there we go. very good. Uh, pretty key that one because obviously direct assault will net beard uh, three points there. Yep. And this morale phase here is also pretty pretty key uh, because if I fail that morale, I'm just outside of range with the uh, patriarch here. Uh, if I fail that morale, uh, that will mean that beard gets the five points for direct assault. So it's oh. all to play for here. But I do have six attacks with the patriarch. Yes, I'm just going to do that now. Okay, here we go. That'll be fine. Uh, I mean, it's given the way that he rolled last time, quite possibly. This time, however, he's fighting stuff that he's good at fighting, which is yeah. infantry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's twos to kill. Uh, five die. Five die. Oh, I can re-roll that because they're, uh, uh, they're monstrous claws. Uh, six die. Six die. Very good. I'll remove them in a minute. Okay, and the Sanctus has been removed as well. Okay. All right, some pretty key rolls here. Morale phase. Morale phase? Morale phase. Yeah. Morale phase. Morale. Uh, we have your infantry down there. They have lost six guys. Yep. They're looking for a one. And they get a two. They just fail, unfortunately. Uh, uh, so we've got four left. But they are fine. They're going to stay in combat with a patriarch. They are brave boys. Nice. Maybe foolish. Mm -hmm. uh, over here, we have lost um, lots. Uh, basically, I need a one. Okay. No, I fail. Okay. Um, so you will take that objective. That's big for the uh, secondary there. Yes. Uh, I don't lose any more, okay. so that's fine. That's mm. something. Um, so let me remove the models, and we'll be right back. For that's it, really, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. So you get you did get the five points for direct assault there, as well as a bunch of points for assassinate. But yes. I still have a bunch of stuff left alive. Mm -hmm. We'll be back in Genius of the Cults, turn four. It's turn four for oh. the Colts. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Down here, this unit have jumped out of the truck from over here and are now using their, uh, the, deploying their scramblers. Mm. Uh, the Patriarch is staying in combat, it's the Fool. Um, down here, this unit is going to look to deal with this Chimera over here. Uh, the Aberrant is making its way down this way to deal with the Basilisks. Uh, this guy down here, Hero. annoyingly, is now contesting that objective in the middle over there. Uh, he's holding it. He's a holding the objective because his objective is killed. Yeah. Um, and we have uh, this unit that of um, the two-man unit are yep. just consolidating over there. Indeed. Uh, and that's it. Uh, yeah. So the unit that I forgot to fire that was inside there jumped out, have moved up here, uh, now deploying the final scrambler. It was meant to be. That's the, that's the ten victory points. It was meant to be. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. We'll kick off the psychic phase with a simple smite. Nice. A simple smite. It is a smite. Very good. It is one mortal wound. Okay. One is dead. Fine. Uh, very well. Uh, we'll go straight into the shooting phase. The proclamation hailer is just out of range. Okay. Fine. Heavy stubber into them. Okay. And the auto cannons into them. Sure. I want you off that objective. Uh, that's two wounds from the heavy stubber, so five ups. Two five ups. Okay. One is alive. The auto cannon. Okay. It is a wound, it's minus one. Minus one, needing a six. Excellent. Need so two are dead, there two is one left. Dead. Fine. In that squad. Uh, we'll go straight over to this one here. Uh, the yep. mining laser is going to go into the chimera and we'll fire a blaster charge into them from the sergeant. Okay. Blast charge. Two shots. One hit. One wound, no minus. Okay. Unit a five. Excellent. No, the unit is destroyed. Very good. Uh, we will then do mining the mining laser. laser. This is awesome. Um, okay, they're doing an action, that's fine. Um, let me just do some quick measurements. Okay. Mining laser! Yes. Into the basilisk! I can just see the guy on the top here. Okay. 
Shooting him in the head. Oh, he hits it through the dense hit. cover. Very nice. Hits a wound at minus three. How dare you? A six. No. Ah! Ha. Ha. Yay! Oh, it's the first nice. six I've rolled for damage. Does the Basilisk blow up? No, no it doesn't. Very nice. That is one Basilisk down. Hero. What a hero. The Acolytes. Firing. Yes, uh, seven into the heavy weapons team and four into the Chimera, one of which, uh, two, two, three of which will be at minus one on the Chimera. On the Chimera. Beautiful. And then the one that's not at minus one, so two hits. No wounds, very good. On to the heavy weapons team. One, two hits. They're not very good shooters, but that's not what they're meant to be. It's two wounds, however. Two wounds. Very nice. Oh, uh, where is this going? Uh, into the heavy weapons team. Yeah, where is he? Uh, two go through. One is dead. Okay, maybe they are good shooters. Uh, we then just got two pistols from the characters there into the Chimera. Um, the Primus hits. He needs a six to wound, doesn't wound. And the auto pistol from the Clamavus misses. Very good. That's my shooting phase done. Lovely. Come here, Let's dice. Get into some charges. Yes. Charge phase. The Abominant needs a seven. Into this Buzzless Kia because yes. of those darn craters. Oof. Oh, it's a 10. Wow. Okay, Amazing. so minus two and eight gets me there, which is exactly where I want to be because of Lion Breaker. Lovely. Um, we are then going to charge um, that squad into both the Chimera. Oh, which one of those is being removed, by the way? Uh, we'll remove... Um, doesn't really matter. This one here. Okay. Uh, uh, no, this one here. Okay. Uh, just the Chimera and the squad because that's a long charge. Sure. <laughs> Twice now I've gone, I'm not going to make this long charge just in case. Uh, let me move him in. And the truck charging into the guardsman in the church. Yes. Oh, he smashes through the walls. Very nice. Just to prevent, I mean, I know you can do like fall back and shoot and stuff with your orders, but that's fine. The hero into your lame and rust battle tank commander. I'm going to spend my last command point to <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> Go on then. Okay. Uh, so let's do the demolisher cannon. It's five shots. Okay. Ah, uh, sixes. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Twos. I think he might be dead, Jim. Well, a triple six. No, he's dead. Okay. Oh, I mean, he did, he did very well. Uh, so I kind of had to do that because otherwise he was going to fire with impunity. Yeah. Um, at least this way. I mean, I know he's now going to get the points for that. Maybe I should have just stayed there to deny the points, but I'm going to deny a bunch of points anyway. Yeah. So it's kind of... Six of one, half a dozen of another. It was worth the risk, in my opinion. Tell me how wrong I am in the comments. Uh, cool. Uh, that's my charge phase done. Okay. Uh, let's kick off with some fighting. Let's do it. We begin with the Abominant. Smash. Smash and smash. Uh, two hits. Because okay. of that pesky minus one. Uh, two wounds at minus three. Okay. Six is required. <sighs> Does pass one. D6 damage. It's free damage. Great. His familiar. Uh, hits you twice. Uh, doesn't wound you. Very good. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's go over to the truck just because it's some token attacks. It's okay. nice and easy. Oh, I get a hit there. Very nice. I somehow run you over it whilst you're up the wall. <laughs> uh, he's no, I don't. Because you're up the wall. It makes yeah. sense. <laughs> uh, right. Let me just figure out parlins and whatnot over there. Okay. Here we go. It's the Acolytes now. Splitting some attacks. The rock soars into the Chimera as well as one uh, Acolyte and then uh, three Acolytes, one of which is the champion into the squad. Yes. The rock soars. We're re-rolling those ones because of the uh, banner and we are within range of the Ellie Majesty of the Primus. Very good, it was meant to be. Uh, freeze to wound, we're not re-rolling ones because that target is dead. Uh, but that is uh, only four wounds there. Uh, wounds? It's minus four and it is flat to damage though. Okay. So there's eight damage on that Chimera. Nice. Uh, we've now got the claw on that Chimera. I hit you all of the dimes. Oh! Right. Uh, so that is at minus four. That's okay. free damage going through. It is destroyed. That, that would have been great over there. Though. <laughs> uh, does he explode? Ooh, I oh, I saw it a couple of times there. He doesn't, but that is the Chimera right. destroyed. And now the attacks into the three remaining guards. Yes. So twos, rerolling the ones. Very good. Looking for freeze to wound here. They're dead. Okay. They're very dead. All that minus. Beautiful. Right. Let me grab my attack so I can kill this truck. No. Okay. Here we go. Death by guardsman. Yes. Nine attacks those by the guardsman. Uh, yes. Yes. And then, um, six. Sixes. 
Okay. Three sixes there, chef. All right, forced to wound here. Uh, forced to save here. Okay. Two wounds. How rugged is my construction? Not very. Okay. The sergeant cleaving through with his chainsaw. Oh, very nice. No more wounds. Oh, okay. Just take cards. I kind of wanted him to degrade him personally because I'm <laughs> being cool. Uh, that's that then. Oh, you that... got your basilisk on the abominant. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why not? Uh, three attacks. No. No. Right. Okay. Another successful turn. Another good one. Uh, we got line breaker again. Yep. We finished deploying the scramblers. Yep. Um, we've already maxed out assassinate. Uh, I did lose one, two, three, four units that turn, but I also but I killed one, two, three, four units. So I've denied you grind them down, which is again. good. Um, so that's pretty important. You are gonna get uh, one, two. You are gonna get the fifteen on the primary though. Interesting. Interesting. That could be big. Down to the wire. Let's get into the end of the game. That's round five. Somehow oh, is coming up next. I don't know how we do this. This is a spicy meatball beard. I've, I've eaten it and I'm feeling hot. There's three points in it at the moment. <laughs> um, so. Beard got the full primary points there. Um, in hindsight, yes, I absolutely should just not have charged and just denied the points, but um, I, you know, he was a hero. He'd already survived so much and he'd already taken down so much. I felt like he deserved a glorious death in the name of the grandfather. Grandfather, daddy. Yeah, but alas, he's dead now. So uh, to that end, we have abandoned the objectives because yeah, Beard's holding them now. Um, so uh, we will get the points for direct assault because we, we are controlling that objective. Yep. Um, so that is going to be maxed out. Indeed. Uh, we have fallen back over here, but we are going to do get back in the fight. We've moved over here with the Bulgrins. We have moved over here with the Lehman Russ tank commander. We have fallen back over here with this basilisk. Yes. We have moved backwards with both the basilisk and the uh, Master of Ordnance. Yes. Held firm with the heavy bolters and move forward with the brave, brave command squads. Yes. And my Lehman Russ commander can finally do something. <laughs> Yay! So orders-wise, uh, we have done get back in the fight on the unit that fell back from the truck. Yep. Uh, gunners kill on site over here. Yep. And we've done, uh, from the company commander here, we've done a reroll ones to hit on both of the heavy weapon squads yet again. Si, senor. Do you know what you're starting with, Mr. Beard, in the shooting phase? We're going to go straight into it, I feel. Si, senor. So we're going to do this heavy bolter into these guys over here. All right, very good. Here we go. Reroll these ones. Uh, this is good for you got those reroll ones. Okay, two hits. Threes! One wound. One wound. One, six up, invulnerable save. That is gone. No, one is dead. Uh, we're now going to move on to the next squads. All nine shots going into the same squad. Okay, very good. Oh, oh it's good hitting. Is it a, is it a, is it a, it's a full house. It's not, you're hitting on, you're hitting on fours. Oh yeah, There's good two fours in there. <laughs> uh, threes. Threes. Oh, uh, beard, no. Only two wounds. Only two. Okay. Six up in buns. Uh, another two have been slain. Three cut down in their prime. Okay. How dare you? We're going to move on. They have families. On. No, not anymore. Um, now we are going to do my tank commander, everything into this squad over here. Okay. Um, how many will there be in there if I remove the three that just died? Oh, I should have done that first. Damn it. Fine. Well, at least it'd be three shots. Um, but never mind. So we'll do we'll do the, 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 the big gun first. D6 shots is four. That's all right. I'll take four. Uh, hitting on threes. Yes. Uh, I have, oh dear, okay, reroll the one for himself. Two hits. Okay. Twos. It's two wounds. Two, six up invulnerables. They have not done very well for me thus far. No. They have not, they, they've, they've basically done nothing. Uh, okay. So another two have been slain. The heavy blocks. Block, block, block. Total. Uh, okay, reroll the one. Okay, it's nice. That's very nice. Threes. Uh, okay, that's okay, much better. Okay, that is six wounds. Six, you say? Six, I say. Okay, six up invulnerable saves. Uh, oh, I passed two that time. Okay. So nine have been cut down. Let me remove them because this could be key. The unit that has got back into the fight, splitting some firepower. We are doing four las guns into the two man unit here. Yes. Everything else through the doorway into the three man squad that just finished deploying the scrambler. Including uh, a fragmentation of... grenade. Ooh, a fragmentation grenade. Uh, so these are into the smaller team. Yep. Okay, three hits. Uh, three wounds. Uh, two, uh, wounds. two wounds, sorry. I, I mean, I know I'm like weak, but I'm not toughness two. Yeah. Uh, they're dead. Okay, cool. Uh, ah! <laughs> the fragmentation grenade. Three shots. Three shots. Why am I rolling four dice? <laughs> uh, one what? hit 
and no wounds. Okay. And then we've got uh, three, six, uh, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. Uh, and nine, ten. Okay, right. Rapid fire into the other guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not the greatest. But not the worst, because the worst would be no hit. That's true. That would that would be really, really bad. Uh, uh, that is five wounds. Five wounds. Okay, so five, wounds, five light cover saves here at last. Uh, and it makes a bit of a difference. One is left alive. This company commander, a laser pistol into the lone guy at the top there. Yes. A laser pistol. Never mind. Right. Uh, and our bolt pistol from the platoon commander into the patriarch. No. Never mind. Okay. Right. The lone basilisk now. The one able to fire. Heavy bolter can just draw a line of sight from the corner of his railing to the tip of my robe. Uh, <laughs> uh, so into the uh, two-man unit of neophytes over there. Yeah. And the uh, Earthshaker cannon is going to go into my Clamorbus. Okay, here we go. Heavy bolters. I hit you twice. Okay. One wound. One wound. Six up in vulnerable save. Oh! It's exactly when I needed it to happen. <laughs> the Clamorbus. Five shots. They've been very consistent. They though. really have. They've been very good this they've, game. They've been good boys. Now this is going through dents, unfortunately. Two hits. Am I over 36 inches there? Uh, no. You sure? Pretty sure. Let me measure. Yeah, well Okay, enough. so it's one wound. One wound. A six up invulnerable save. <laughs> Maybe I've been saving my bladed clock. No. no. <laughs> okay, uh, how much damage do you take, uh, do you inflict? One. One. So I am going to attempt to pass it off with unquestioning loyalty. Do it. I don't do it. He dies. Lovely. <laughs> Die. Splat. The charge phase. We kick off with the Bulgrins in two. The Goliath truck. Here we go. Needing a seven. It's a seven. Oh, it's almost as if Heidegger's spirit is still here. He's always with us. <laughs> Telling us what to do exactly when we need it. This platoon commander is going to charge into the Patriarch. That's brave. <laughs> He does only have two wounds. He needs a five. Oh, okay. he wants it. Uh, the company commander is going to charge into him and uh, them because it's equidistant. He sure. needs a seven. They're hungry for it. They're hungry for it. <laughs> we will kick off with the Bulgrins. Yeah. Yes, that's a lot. Okay, uh, that is a lot. It will be freeze to wound because I am only done in six. Okay, here we go. Threes, two wounds. Yeah. Right. Okay. How many wounds is that? So we got uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine wounds. Nine, you say? Nine, I say. Pathetic. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, five ups. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible, uh, but it is ten wounds. Okay. Uh, that go through, or ten damage that goes through. So I've got nine here, looking for shrugs. Uh, no, he's dead. Okay. Uh, does he explode and take one of you with him? No. Okay. Darn it. Okay, so that is three killed for uh, grind them down this turn. That could yes. be significant. But unfortunately, Sheriff is going to be four. Because now I'm going to kill you with my platoon commander. I see. Uh, and then my uh, company commander is okay. going to kill him again. Yeah, right. So we have three attacks. Okay. And this is all into the Patriarch, I take it? Uh, with, well, he only charged the Patriarch. Right. Company commander charged. Both. Sure, sure, sure. So three attacks. I hit you once. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's his toughness? Five. Okay. No wins. I failed to win. Uh, the company commander. Stand by. Uh, company commander, three attacks. Oh no. He will live. Oh no. Here's a wound. Here's a wound. A five up in button save. Uh, I fail it. I'm only going to take one damage anyway. Um, yeah, I don't want to pass that off to a guy. Although I'm going to auto pass my route anyway because of the Patriarch. So I'm going to lose him anyway. Why not try? Because, of, co because of coherency. Why not? Yeah, it kills, it kills matey boy that's right at the back there. Okay. Very good. All right, we're going to go to the leader of the Acolytes here. Four attacks into the platoon commander, hitting on twos because we are within nine inches of the Alien Majesty of the Primus. Uh, no banner anymore, so uh, we do get uh, one, two, three wounds there. And the minus doesn't ma make any difference because you have a refractor field. 
Touch. Any free wounds, but he has four wounds. You say on a platoon. This commander. was the uh, the platoon commander only has three. A platoon commander only has three. That, this is onto the. Oh, are you talking about the company commander? Uh, sorry, which which one is it that's standing upright? Because that's all I could attack. Oh, that's the company commander. So he has one wound He's remaining. Got one wound left. Right. Yeah. So then the patriarch's going to do two attacks on him yes. and three attacks on the platoon commander. Okay. So on the company commander, only one hit. I'm sorry. It is a wound. He's, he's dead. Okay. You have a CP. Um, I yes, I'll spend it. <gasps> Pays off. Could be big. Okay. Could be big. Okay. The four attacks on the uh, platoon commander. Uh, I hit you three times. Mm -hmm. I wound you twice. Uh, both of flat damage free. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. He's very dead. Very, very good. good. Okay. Interesting, that could be pretty big there because killing them both would have enabled me to move, um, but so be it. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I also passed morale for both of those units there because of the Brood Lord and his alien majesty. Yeah. Um, so interesting times here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have mm -hmm. to see what I can do. Uh, let's see if it's possible to uh, get back into this and steal a victory from the guard's nose with my one, two, three, four, five models left on the board. Turn five for oh. the Gene Stealer cult. Oh. It's already oh. a victory. Yeah. Well done. Uh, so with yeah. this uh, last remaining fella down here, because he just auto passed morale because of the Broodlord, yeah. he was able to advance and steal the objective, yeah. even in the face of adversity. So he will be pounded to dust, uh, but he will claim that objective. Yep. So that will be 10 points because this one is being held as well. Yeah, that's already mine. And yes. this is yours. That's yours. I can't do anything about them. Yeah. Um, but that's going to give me hold one, hold two. Yeah. Um, which is just 10 points. Indeed. Um, and just by moving um, my sort of uh, characters over with the pylons at the end of that turn, um, I've gotten um, line, breaker. line breaker with the two there. Um, even if I don't kill anything this turn and you get grind it down, you'll be on 75 points to my 77 because of the line breaker. Hi everyone, Chef here, just to let you know what's happening here, because this happened at the end of the game. It was about eight o'clock by the time we finished filming this game. So uh, obviously what we were talking about in terms of victory points wasn't really what happened. Because I made a mistake with the Sanctus in turn one for the Deploy Scramblers, I wasn't actually able to score the points. So even if I'd have denied Beard the grind it down, he would have won by a couple of points. He was very happy to give me the draw because it was such a hard fought game, but that wouldn't be fair to him. So it's just to explain to you what would have happened here. Even killing the units down at the bottom here wouldn't have helped me. I potentially could have gone to get that objective there, um, killing the heavy weapons team on top of it. That would have netted me another five points at the end of the game on the primary for um, holding more. But alas, wasn't a guarantee, uh, especially because I was still tied up in combat with his company commander. So I'm happy to give Beard the win. It was still a fantastic game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was really fun. Really good game. Yeah, uh, I, I think the turning point was blowing up Medium Dagger's head. Yes, because that actually made a big difference. Huge because difference. it was just the points. It just yeah. gave me. It, it gave me a bunch of points. It removed the bit. I, I do. I, I didn't have anything to deal with these guys. Yeah, uh, the the Bulgarians, So I just ignored them. And yep. you know what? They they absolutely did their job, which they did is a lot of work. They hit the middle and they go. Souls now. Yeah. Uh, and then they came over here, you know, they racked up points for characters, they were getting points for Grind It Down, Direct Assault. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're a fantastic unit anyway, we all know that. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of ignored them and played the mission, which was the, the gist. Uh, it was Very a, good game, man. Yeah, lots, Very lots good of game. fun. Uh, cool to use a custom regiment for the first time. Uh, it's, it's a good little combo, I think. The extra range and the, nice. getting the wounds back all the time is really nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with, with my Lehman Rust being tied up for most of the game, uh, couldn't really <coughs> do a huge amount of output. They soaked up a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it didn't quite have the mobility. But yeah. I don't care, because that was lots of fun. It was lots of fun. I think that is the issue with the demolisher light. Like, because it is great and you give it the six inch range and it's really good, but you still need to get quite close. Yeah, relatively close. And yeah. when there's, you've got stuff that can advance and charge or deep strike and charge yeah. or moving 12 and then moving another 10 and then making, I mean, I made a really long charge with the rock grinder. Didn't do anything, yeah. but stopped you from firing. So it makes a big difference. Um, yeah. 
Good game, Lovely. Man. Really good game. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you want to see more, head over to tabletoptactics.tv where we have loads of other stuff, loads more games, loads of extra content, loads of videos about us talking about things. It's a good time for everyone involved. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. It helps us out massively. And that is the end because I need to go and lie down. It's been a long day. Thank you for the game, man. Thank you. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. I'll just, I'll just shut up. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, so much.